Hello, hello, hello. How are we doing, folks? Oh, my word, we're back live already. Can you tell that I've been enjoying playing F1 Manager? I feel like it's been a little bit obvious. Oh, how are we, everyone? We're back here with the Pucher Project. Sorry, Mick. The Mick mission is over. F's in the chat for the Mick mission, which has only just been invented as the Mick mission. It's over. It's done. Um, the dream's dead. Uh, fight me, cutie pie. Thank you so much for resubbing. I can't believe you sat, Mick. I wish I could cancel my sub now, Kappa. Look, I made the right call. I made the bright, the right call. I'm not letting anyone tell me otherwise, folks. Should we just get straight into things today? Still feels weird having my camera in the middle. Still feels weird having my camera in the middle. Ah, oh, how are we all? Did you miss me? Were you okay for two and a half hours without me? I hope, I hope you survived. I think you might be able to have an addiction to F1. I think so. I think so. How was my night? It was decent. I just went around. Well, I just watched a um, TV show with some friends. I can't remember what the show was called now. But it was it was good good vibes. Good vibes. Is it a drunk stream? No, no. There was no drinking. I just had popcorn. I mean, can you get drunk on popcorn? Maybe. What's the subscriber song saying? It's a tribute to Mark the Duca. Who is an uh, was rather obscure, not really obscure, but a slightly obscure Australian footballer. It's been a reference on the stream for about nine, ten years. So it's maybe a date. Maybe we need to move on from the Vadukas. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, the TV had a nightmare in my first race. The people who are managing Williams, genuine question, because I know there's people managing Williams. Are you having fun? That's my question. So I'm going to zoom out slightly. If you're managing Williams, are you actually enjoying yourself? Be honest with yourself right now. Because my understanding is it's not that fun to be Williams. Probably quite realistic, really. So we've got Monaco. And I think we're going to be using two bad engines for this. Okay, did remember the engines we put in. I want to make sure that's up correctly. Um, Can be Kazi 92 thank you for subbing with the Prime. And also, Wills Boski, thank you for subbing with the Prime. Where's Nick Schumacher? Look, we don't talk about we don't we don't talk about Mick. We don't talk about Nick or Mick. You quit after one race. That you know what that is fair. Um, I was sat thinking about our facilities and if there's anything else we can upgrade. We've already got a load of upgrades queued, but literally has do not have any. And I realised, chat, just as I finished the stream, we can upgrade the weather facilities some more. I'm going to keep upgrading this. I want to know the weather at all times. I want to know the weather at all times. MJ, you're sad, dude. Thank you for the 13 months. Hey, Jack. Uh, lucky 13. Looking forward to the F1 stream. Thank you, dude. Yeah, I, I, I appreciate for people who are maybe here for the F1. Maybe you've stumbled across the channel in the last 48 hours. First, welcome, welcome on in. Um, I am normally a football manager streamer, which I, I will argue is the greatest role-playing game of all time. It's like you're playing, playing Dungeons & Dragons, except the game's not fair and it wants to f*** you, with the, the backdrop being it's meant to be a football game. Um, it can be quite good fun, but it can also be a bit painful. Um, if you are one of the F1 watchers, I hope you've been enjoying the F1 manager stuff. I'm sure you can appreciate it at the moment. I just want to play a game that I'm... So I'm enjoying more than I thought I was going to enjoy, which might sound a little bit weird, but I didn't think I'd be streaming for, well, uh, I mean, I streamed five and a half hours earlier and six hours last night, and now we're, we're live again for however long this lasts. I, I, I'm having fun. I'm having fun. I think it's cool, actually. I think a lot of people who may be here from Football Mad, who aren't even F1 fans, kind of are just enjoying the madness. It's really, really good fun. Oh, what are the key learnings so far? Well, we don't we don't want the McLarens to crash into each other and ruin our strategy where we have a podium on. Chat, I'm still up uh, like I'm still upset about that last race in Spain. So for people who haven't maybe caught the races today, because I appreciate yesterday we streamed late at night, then I streamed earlier. Now we're back live now, just to catch you up on what's happened so far. We'll go from the beginning. Why not for people who are new here? So. Previous race results, you can see here in Bahrain, Magnussen finished 10th, and this bloke called Mick Schumacher was it? It didn't, didn't finish. Rubbish. But yeah, we got points first race of the season. Saudi Arabia. Look at that. Eighth place. Eighth place by about a hundredth of a second. So that was good. And Mick Schumacher, that bloke, 14th, a lap behind. Pathetic. Next race, Australia. Now, I'll be honest. This one wasn't Mick's fault, but he did DNF again. I mean, he's, he's, he's behind my face. He's here. You, you, you know his name. I'm just censoring it for the believers. Um, 
Kerry Magnussen finished 13th. It was a bad race. We, we don't talk about Australia. Today, we did three races already. We did Spain, where, as you can see, in fact, no, this wasn't Spain. This was the Emilio Romagna Grand Prix. Oh, well, th that's not the name of the Grand Prix. Basically, we didn't get any points. We finished 11th and 13th. It wasn't very good, was it? It wasn't very good. That was, a, that was the first true write-off. Then, Tactical Genius. Because... We had a debut for Teo Porcher, who came in as our new driver, and on his debut, got points. Now, you might be saying, I think Kevin Magnussen DMF, but came 13th. Yeah, everyone behind him got lapped, and then on the final corner of the race, he ran out of fuel. But he still technically gets 13th, despite the fact he didn't finish, because he was a lap ahead of everyone else who, well, their race classification was settled. Uh, and then most recently, we went to Spain, and look at, round of applause for myself. I'm not, you know, humble brag here. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. We got 7th and ninth, which was a really, really good double points finish. Uh, in a race that had a safety car that probably ruined us going on a one-stop strategy. That prob I don't want to say it probably would have, but I think we would have had a chance at a podium, genuinely. So that was a bit of a shame. But besides that, it's, it's been good. But today, Monaco. Now, for people who don't know about Monaco, it is the slowest circuit on the calendar. It is through city of monte carlo and it's a very short winding track where there's not a lot of overtaking so you need to have a really good qualifying session you you want track position at all times you're going to try and one stop if you can and the weather forecast for now is cloudy with a chance of sun there's no rain for now um killer bubbles mh thank you so much for subbing with the prime uh, aiden's just come in how did the last race go earlier i've 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 just covered all the races aiden but we we got double points in spain and yeah, Teo Pocher is our new driver. I think this man's going to be nuts for us. This is the Pocher project. It's the Pocher project. The Mick mission is over. So we can actually look at details for the track here. So track abrasion of slows, historic safety car chance, 67% chance of a safety car, or in F1 manager, about a 90% chance we don't get a safety car. Um... Yeah, it, it, it's a track where low cornering and medium, medium cornering speed is important. And you might be wondering, Jack, where does your car rate in that? You know what? That's a fair point. If we just go to car analysis uh, and then this car here, show rank on grid. Low cornering and medium cornering, we're okay at. We are okay at this. This is a race that we could do. I think good engine calling as well. We are going to be good at running in traffic. If we can get in front of people, I think we're going to be okay. Pusher is like Porsche. Porsche, Porsche. Am I saying it that different? Am I Porsche? Is it chair? Not share. Porsche. Should we just call him Teo? Is that easier for everyone? Or is it Theo? I'd say Teo Porsche. I'll change it every print. If you're new around here, just as a word of warning, I will just make up pronunciations. I hope you're okay with that. We all we've got that clarified. We'll just call him Le Chair, everyone. Oh, we've got a tour centre. Who wants to come visit Haas HQ? Sponsored by Rich Energy. Actually, no, not sponsored by Rich Energy Drinks. So now we get a weekly income of 13,000. We are rich. We are rich. Yeah, did we sack Mick? No comment, Your Honor. No comment. It's Teo, not Theo. So was I saying it correct before, or was I getting that bit wrong as well? We have a, he we have a landing pad with the helicopter. And now we have a visitor center. Ah, oh, right. Race prep for Monaco. We've already sorted out the, the, um, the, what you call it? The new parts. Um, so we've got 23 days until the underfloor and rear wing designs come in. These designs should bring us some big speed upgrades in high speed corners and also just general speed. So if that, how many days was it, chat? I literally just clicked on it and looked at the days. So 23 days. So three weeks away. It's not going to be ready, is it, for the British Grand Prix? Or is it? Three weeks. So we're gonna. it's going to be ready then. Then we've got to manufacture it. It might be that we do one of each upgrade and just have one souped-up car. So the way that the parts work, for people who maybe haven't played F1 Manager, yet, you have to design the part, then manufacture it in it. So the thing we're doing at the moment is designing the parts. To actually make them, it varies a little bit, but it's usually like three to five days per part. Because they're going to be done, and then I think we're going to have a week. We might just design one of each part initially, so we can have one car that's got all the upgrades on them. 
I think that's going to be the most sensible thing. Uh, Pet Boy of Security, thank you so much for suing for 21 months. That is a long ass time. Um, why can't I play this to the 30th? If you pre order, you can play it now, is the answer. What was when the season starts? So during the season, teams vote on different uh, regulation changes. We ha already had one, I think, last night's stream. And the way it works is it reduces your car's performance by a percentage. So if your car is particularly good in something and then the regulations change and there'll be a 30% reduction, um, you will have a bigger loss than someone who's not very good in that area. So as a result, year to year, like parts will get reset, regulations will change. As a result of that, you know, what makes your car good is going to be altered. Number of drivers to 12th. Yeah, we can we can get do that, right? 12th place. Then we're not getting fastest lap. Not a Monaco. Let's not be ridiculous. Uh, hot streak target. Finish a 14th. We can do that. We can do that, right? How do you retire mid-race on this game? Um, chat, where was the where was the retire button? I have found it. It's under the tab, I think, to do a pit stop. Like, I think it's the third option down next to the driver's names. And then there's a little drop down that says more options. And if you click on that, there's then retire. I think that's where it is. I'm working off memory. Ah. Oh. I haven't actually been racing through Monaco Is that really loud today? I think it's because I changed my headset volume. Let me I can turn it down for me and it's still fine for you. As we get to watch the new generation of world class drivers. Oh, look at Monaco. Have you guys seen Monaco yet for a race? I'm curious. I have already raced it once. It looks really good. It looks really good. Karazi89, thank you so much for the three months of the Prime. There are no proper also, when we've not got the UI and we're not racing, me just being in the middle looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Sounds it? Like simple advice. How do I look, chat? How do I look in the middle of the screen? I'm on the track, I'm running. I'm running the wrong way. No, this doesn't work. Season, doesn't work. But that doesn't mean we can sit back and relax. Everything is up for grabs. Good to the dads. Thank you for sitting with the Prime as well. The competition is on. Oh, let's go motor racing. Let's go motor racing. Villa 30, thank you for some of the Prime as well. Gang, you guys have been mad. I'm not one to get bogged down in the numbers, but after the stream earlier, I was like, I just want to have a look at what's been happening with the stream the last two days. Mental. Mental. So thank you to everyone who's been hanging out. Like, it, it's really, really cool to see so much excitement around a new game. It's always weird, right? When a new game like this comes out, you don't really know what kind of community is going to develop around the game. I feel like a lot of games like this are made or broken by their community. And management games can sometimes be a bit of a weird kind of genre of games, I suppose, to stream and make entertaining. But I like to think I do an okay job with it. Like, obviously, people are here watching, which is usually a... a I don't know. I get, that gives me some validation, I suppose, that I can't be that bad at making it look fun. Um, but yeah, seriously, I appreciate everyone coming in, especially it's 10pm now, and there's loads of you here. Uh, to D Breeze 101, thank you for some for four months. And Jevon, thank you for some with the Prime as well. I uh, had a safety car last race, the Dream uh, Verdes, that ruined my race. I was going for a one-stopper, and I had to make a second second stop, which sucked. Um, Jake Fallowfield, mate, thank you for the three months as well. And JS Critchell, people are going mental. People are, people are going, do I have a Prime sub? Do I have that Prime thing? Yeah, you maybe do. Check if you do. <laughs> thank you, though, guys. I do really, really appreciate it. I've not had a red flag yet. I saw a clip on Reddit where someone had two red flags in a race, and that's my dream. Uh, IGTM419. I hope you're... Is it Igtum? It could be Igtum. I'm going to go with IGTM. Thank you for some with the Prime as well. And Milhazio, or Mihazio. I'll just change your I into an L. I hope that's okay. Thank you for some with the Prime as well. So how do you know when to bring them in practice? There's like five knowledge dots that are like basically the five aspects. When they're all filled up, you can bring the drivers in. When you're doing practice sessions, you want to change their aggressiveness on the tires to be lower. So you can use those tires throughout practice for a bit longer. Oh my god, everyone has prime subs apparently. PK a two. What happened to PK a one? Did you player kill them? Thank you very much for the prime. That was such a lame joke. I want to apologize to everyone. 
Okay, I don't do practice sessions. Just, you know, I'm, I'm like, you know, a musical artist, they don't write their own songs, some of them, they just sing them. That's me. I don't write my own songs. I don't do practice. I just turn up for qualifying and put in the performance then and look good. Um, we know how bad traffic is in this game. I think we just send the drivers out earlier. Ryan T, 331 as well. You are mad. You guys are mad. Regret getting rid of Mick yet? No. No. I mean, Pachez scored more points than Mick did in two or three races. All right. Let's get these guys out early. Let's get them out early. Although, I want to give them that little gap. Remember when we sent them out too early before? That was awkward. People who play practices are the people who watch friendlies on FM. Potentially true. The Tomboy UK, 11 months, dude. Thank you. Uh, after watching uh, your stream the last couple of days, I really feel like buying this game. I'm not a massive F4 watcher, but it looks incredible. I'm a long time enjoyer of different management games. Football, cycling, handball, hockey. Am I foolish to buy it, you reckon? If you enjoy playing loads of different sports games, and there's been other sports games that you've kind of checked out and played, but without having too much knowledge in it, I think you will find a lot to enjoy in this game. Hey, Mr. Wednesday. Yeah, this is different to the Alpine stuff we're doing on YouTube. This has been a Twitch exclusive save game. We started it last night. We're already at Monaco. Got my first safety car. Mick crashed out in the rain. CJ Cars, you, are you managing cars? I always thought like the term managing has. It's like, is the team principal managing the team? Because you wouldn't call Gunther Steiner the manager. You call him the team principal, right? Am I? It, should it be F1 team principal? 2022 doesn't really work as a name. It's not quite as snappy as it as manager. Is there a way to buy the game and support the channel at all? There isn't. I really should have thought about sorting something like that out, shouldn't I? I'm not sure where the best place to buy the game is either, price-wise, I'm afraid. The gaffer? Well, call me the ga gaffer. The gaffer, I thought I said there. Let's not call me the gaffer, okay, gang? We're about to hit traffic, aren't we? We're about to hit bloody traffic. I already know. I've seen this movie. I've seen this movie. If the SL pin goes to the right here, we might be okay. He's going to go to the left. I mean, if the area is to block, it's probably not the worst corners. Can you go wide here so we can go up the inside? It's the slowest corner on the circuit. Uh, F1 calendar all year and on this circuit. But that's not a... Get out of the way in the tunnel. Get out of the way. We've lost time there. 100% lost time there. Morandor, thank you so much for the five gifted. That is actually mad. And Servalor, thank you. Or Servalor 5. Actually, the 5 is important on the name. Thank you for subbing for three months. Oh, he got blocked so bad. Did Magnussen get blocked? We'll be able to tell from the sector. He went quicker than Pacher did in the sector. Yeah, for people who have never seen F1 in Monaco before, this is a track that is through the city of Monte Carlo, and it's the slowest... I think it is the slowest track on the circuit. It must be the slowest track on the circuit. It has the slowest corner, and you're basically racing through a city. There's not a lot of overtaking. It's all about putting in a good shift today. Okay, K-Mag went purple twice, but Pacher second and a half behind. I think K-Mag got through that traffic okay. Pacher's in trouble, though. Albon was only 0.3 behind. Magnussen must have had his lap ruined then. There's no way that Magnussen was that slow. I refuse to believe it. So the AI tends to run softs like this. The AI's optimal strategy seems to be you run new softs, new softs. Q2, you run one of the the used softs then for the second running q2 you use the new softs that you would get that you've still got ah oh, right right we are way off the place that pace the blocking was bad do i send the drivers out late or early here we're in that bad spot in the grid where we uh in the pit kind of layout where we have to let everyone else out if they're going out first so I kind of feel like I should send the drivers out early, but if I send them out too early, we're just going to get stuck in traffic because everyone else is on their outlaps. I don't know what the right time is to send them out. I think early is the play because I don't want to get caught out by a yellow, car, uh, yellow card, a yellow flag. So if a car has an incident on track, for people wondering, you have a yellow flag, which is essentially you have to be prepared to stop on the track if necessary. 
And it's basically saying, hey, there's danger on the track somewhere. Foot off, slow down. So the worst thing that can happen is a car in front of you in this session here ends up on yellows. Because then everyone else has to t slow down. Two minutes now. I'm going to wait longer, chat. Latifi's still on track. Latifi's not going to get another one. So right now, yeah, okay. Pacher definitely had his lap compromised. Magnussen's not in a great spot either. I assume Latifi is not going to be going out when everyone else is going out. <sighs> I kind of want to stare here, and as soon as I see a little dot move, just hit the start, the, the go button. But is that too risky, chat? But as soon as I see someone move, if I hit send out, am I going to be leaving it too late? This is like a game of chicken, chat. I've just got to stare in at the dots. As soon as one of these moves, I'm hitting send out on Pacher. I'm on, I'm, on, I'm on my toes. I'm ready. We're just staring. Go, 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 go. Okay, did I get them out? K-Mag's got to wait for the traffic. I didn't get him out quick enough. Although, Pacher getting out quicker is probably more important. There's a gap there? Chat, he is not getting... K-Mag, is there a gap for... Ke Can we have a gap for Kevin Magnuson, please? Gap for Kevin Magnuson. Kevin? There... That is annoying. He is the last out. That is very unfortunate on the positions. The good news is Pacher, who needs to go faster, has got out. So he should have a better chance at setting a time, although he has got Latifi ahead of him. He's probably just going to get in the way. Even though he's on a flying lap, he is just slow. Hopefully he gets round for the lap. Hopefully he gets round for the lap. I have a feeling the two things are about to absolutely shaft Pocher here. I think we're about to get shafted. I'm nervous for this. Latifu's going to be slow, isn't he? K-Mag's not even round. K-Mag's not even round for his flyer yet. Why is Latifi breaking so hard there? Is the Williams that bad? But yeah, just overtake him if you have to. Might actually get him into the chicane after the tunnel. He's so slow. The Williams are so slow. Why are you on the track? Throw them out. Throw them out. Get out of the way, you stupid goat. Oh, he's about to go straight into the back of him. We need Pacher to go quick here. And then an incident for a yellow flag, I think. I think Pacher is about to get shafted by Nicholas Latifi, and I'm very upset about it. We're on a flying lap, and we're just driving into the back of this Williams that's going so slow. Pacher is safe, barely. There's no shot that that's quick enough. There's no shot. Vettel, Joe will probably go quicker. Signs is, Signs is going to go faster. It's inevitable. Pacher is going out. Set Q1. I'm upset. That's so unfortunate on the timings. Yeah. Yeah. What's Magnuson going to do time-wise? I blame Latifi. I blame Latifi. Latifi is the is the main protagonist of this story, I think. K Mag only just made it through. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Maybe this isn't a track for us. Maybe. Maybe we're not that good. I thought we'd be okay here. I thought we had a chance at points going into it. The chair out in 19. Ironically, the man who he's going to be starting next to on the grid is the man who held him up. Of all the drivers I could have got stuck behind, Nicholas Latifi was the worst. Would it not be better to send them out later? The risk if I send them out later, Mr. Wednesday, is if someone crashed or had an incident, um, then they won't be able to improve on their times. Because you have to slow down if there's a crash on track. So if you send them out right at the very end, there's a higher probability because there's going to be 18 cars in front of you that could possibly have an incident. If that makes sense. 
So now we use use softs for this lap of KMAG. Mick back, absolutely not. Yeah, Mag was last out anyway, to be fair. But we didn't know that. Madison already had an okay time, but Pacher wasn't safe anyway. So he needed the lap. It was more important that Pacher got the lap in. I can't get over how good the camera angles and stuff look. Obviously, they mimic the camera angles from the real F1 broadcast. It looks so good. It looks incredible, doesn't it? Like, for a management sim game, I've seen people going, the cars don't look like they're racing all the time. Like, I kind of get that. Like, don't get wrong. There's, there's definitely bits where it feels robot-y. But you're playing a management game. The Mick command is a thing of beauty. It's true. It's not my fault he was rubbish. We should be okay traffic-wise here on this lap as well for KMAG, which is good. Though this lap isn't quite as important in the grand scheme of things, because this is a lap on older softs, but it's just good to get a clean lap in. Because sometimes you don't get that clean lap in in the session. Okay, K-Mag, round of applause. I don't know what time we got last session. So I, don't, I, can't, I wasn't paying attention, I'll be honest. So we're going to put him onto the new soft for his last run. Chat, what time did everyone go out then before? Because I want to beat the traffic. Although, we won't run into the same issue with Latifi or a slower car. 2.35-ish. Noted. Thank you, chat. Look, Sainz and Russell got absolutely shafted by people being bl like blocking. You can tell by their times. We are not quick here, by the way. We are slow. He was saying go out at 240. I'm going to go out. Now! Now's the right moment. It feels right. It feels like the right moment. Okay, look at that. Timed it to perfection. I noticed after your quality lap, if you don't save your ERS for the cooldown lap, you don't have ERS for the next run. Is that the case? I think you could only use half of your ERS's capacity in a lap anyway. I'm not entirely sure on that, but that's only what it is like in race. I'm so tempted to steal a laptop or something to play this game. I mean, this game is available on PlayStation and Xbox. Uh, quick message whilst I'm on my break on work. Long time YouTube viewer. First time seeing you stream. Night shift suck. Well, I hope to make them a little bit better for you, Stan the Man. I hope to make them that wee bit better. Right. Okay, Mag. What can you do, mate? What can you do? This is this is big for us, folks. No traffic, no worries. Ideal world, we edge out the McLarens and then someone has a crash on track. And as a result of that, no one can improve on their times and we sneak into Q3. If he goes it, I tell you what, if he if he gets into Q3 here, I'm off to the casino. How long does it take a race? So I, when I play a race, usually takes between an, probably around an hour and an hour to an hour and twenty minutes is probably how long it takes when I stream it. But you've got to bear in mind when I stream, I tend to slow the sp like pace down more so I can actually have chats with you guys, as opposed to me playing with it sped up a lot where I'm having to pay attention to everything that's happening. Like there's enough downtime when I slow down the speed that I can sit here and chat, for example. Also, chat, my shirt's got like an annoying thread. Let me cut it. Are you meant, chat, when you get a loose thread on your shirt, are you meant to cut it? You're not meant to pull it, but do you just cut it? Is that the correct thing to do? How's K Mag done? I should be focusing on the lap. I'm seeking life advice from the chat. He's gone up one place. We are bad. We are bad, ladies and gentlemen. Pulling it is more fun. I mean, valid point, to be fair. We've all been there as a little kid, haven't we? When your socks start falling apart, falling, uh, falling apart, you just pull on the thread on them. Okay, well, we're ahead of Sonoda. That's not good. The only advantage we have here, or the only silk crumb of comfort is, this race can be random as fuck. If you get lucky with a pit stop, if you get lucky with a safety car, you can make it work. But this is not a track chat where you get overtakes. We're going to need some luck. The time has come for these drivers to fight it out wheel to wheel. 
Race them. Not sure there's going to be much fighting it out, but we can dream. Wouldn't mind some rain. Rain would be good, wouldn't it? Car strategy. Oh, chat, it's going to be a one stop. I guess we just go long, right? Just go long on the hards with the opportunity to go onto the mediums before the softs fall off. It's not. Uh, there's no point in going on the softs, I don't think, to start. I think we're better off going long to begin with. Go long and hope for a safety car. There's not a lot else we can do. We're not going to get overtakes here, sadly. Right, it's just it's the reality of Monaco, so. Also, chat, I've remembered to do this bit before the race today, so that's good. Why is Mick gone? He was rubbish. I think we just go long and hope for a safety car. Hope for another Magnuson Masterclass. He was unreal for us before. Are you ready, chat? It's a, Are you it's ready? Day for the race, but the you know it's serious because I've got the stand-up desk. Justice for Mick. There Justice is not Kevin happening. Magnuson. There's the other hand. This is the poor chair mission. The race yeah, the chat, do we want to do a prediction so on will there be a safety car? Should we do a prediction on will there be a safety car? Spurrite, right, are you able to set that up? I'm going to let it play out at regular speed and hope we don't get one at the start. The if we have a safety car before this the prediction is, is over, we cancel it, but it feels unlikely. It's lights out and away we go. Come on, lads. I mean, if there's going to be a safety car, Monaco feels like the obvious place for it to happen. At least Pacera is still ahead of Natifi. Let's look at the positives. How's K-Mag doing? He's lost, he's lost a position. Good job, Kev. Good job, Kev. Is Theo real? He is real. Pass with an overtake. That was insane. Sorry. We're watching that again. On Kevin Magnuson here. This overtake is mad. Was this the other overtake? He went up the inside of someone afterwards, right? Position in the this overtake here is mental. Oh, it didn't show the right Back one. The garage, the team absolutely loved it. Did he go up the inside of the Alpha? I hope we can click on view that one. I thought that's the one we were watching. He literally went up the inside of Joe there. It was absolutely unreal. Okay, nice work. Nice work, Kev. Pass with an overtake oh, there. chat, we're watching Let's this again. Look. Now just focus on the hat. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll rate that from Kevin. A bold move indeed. And with that, they've gained a position. This might be, you know, I said it was the poor chair project. It might just be the Magnuson mission. How's Pacher doing? Pacher's just going to be stuck at the back for the entire race. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. Okay, back off. Right, Kevin, you can push. What did everyone else start on? People are starting on softs. Are people just going to go softs hard? Or are they two stopping? Chat, why are they all on softs? Are they two stopping like in the last race? I mean, Sonoda's on the hards. Chat, we might start. We might. If there's a two stopper, we might stand a chance. Okay, I get another one. Why not, mate? Could they be going soft hard to the soft? Wait, can we? Is there a way if we go into the strategy screen? I guess we could just make a new strategy, right, and just test. Could you? Could you go soft hard? Is this? A, you can do it like this. We can. We can see what they were thinking. Now, oh God, you can actually go right. Oh, I wish I'd known that. Could you go soft hard? You probably could go soft hard, but you are taking a gamble. Although, to be fair, it's as tight as ours is, I think. I say all of this like we're not doing hard softs, I realise. Where'd the Perez start on the mediums? We'll criticise their strategies. Are they on used softs, or is that that? They must be on used softs to start, though, right? For that, where? Because Ocon's on fresh softs. These guys probably all used their last set, the extra set of softs they get in quality. This might be a race chat where we do a lot more fast forwarding than some of the previous races, just as a word of warning. How's K Mag doing? He's doing fine. 
We're putting them on overtake here, but they're not using up the ERS quick enough because there's not enough chances to actually overtake. DRS enabled. So I'm saying about Pit and Pacher just to gamble now. There's no point. The, the only chance we have of getting points today, chat, is if Kevin Magnussen can pull off a mission on the overcut where we run long when all these cars in front are going to have to pit sooner. Or if there's a safety car at a good time for us. Because obviously, for people who are maybe new to F1, you, you might not know. So there's two different types of, types of safety car. There is something called the virtual safety car, which essentially neutralizes the race. So cars have a, a speed they have to maintain. And that speed is identical for everyone. So basically everyone is traveling at roughly the same pace around the track. Not the same speed around the track, but the same pace. Like the gaps are maintained, in theory. Or you have a full safety car where there's a safety car that comes out and everyone crowds up behind. If either of those things happen, because the cars on the track are going slower, if you pit whilst that's happening, you're losing less time. Because if you pit and everyone else is going full speed, they obviously make a bigger gap. Whereas if there's a safety car and they're forced to drive slower and you go in, they're not going as quick so they make up less ground whilst you're forced to go through the pit. I realise for a lot of F1 fans that will sound like I'm stating the obvious, but I, I realise that we do have newer F1 viewers here. So I feel like for you guys it's probably worth explaining some of the stuff that I mention from time to time. So you kind of understand. Does a VSC count? I, don't th I think it has to be a full safety car. Because there is a difference. How's Pacher doing? Pacher is just stuck. Harvest your battery, mate. Charge it up for what it's worth. Charge on. Charge on. Did I sack Mick? Maybe. Maybe. No comment, Your Honor. Just had my first red flag. I love that. It's a thing in the game. Yeah, I've not had a red flag yet, chat. I've not had a red flag yet. I think this is going to be a case of let's see what happens as this race goes on. There's, going to, there's not going to be a lot of overtaking chat. I feel like Monaco is going to be the race that everyone gets through quickly. I hope Magson doesn't get overtaken by Joe. Got him on the first lap. He's been chasing us down ever since. Oh, God. Magda Magnuson's fuel wear went up. Now, I will say, I've raced Monaco once before. The fuel bits on Monaco are... I don't want to say buggy. I don't think it's buggy. They are weird. Like, it was at 8, and now it's at 5. Do you see how quickly that's gone down, chat? <laughs> and now this one's positive. It, I'm not sure what dictates the uh, like the fuel situation, but it just it feels quite random at times. Is how I would describe it. I think we go standard with these tyres. Now, we have got to make them last for as long as we can. I work the space. Why did you mention me? Um, I've got a shocking confession chat. If you ever go, oh my god, Jack mentioned me. My, there's a little message ring I have to put on Twitch when it comes to uh, me streaming, and I always type in at work the space mentioned you. I haven't actually mentioned you, and I'm really sorry because it is deceitful, and I am a scumbag, and you're allowed to hate me for it. But it did make you come and tune into the stream. So did it work? Maybe. Chat, I might not mention you all before every stream. I'm sorry. Can you forgive me, chat? Can we rebuild our relationship or is the damage done? There has been not many overtakes so far. Magnuson is still in P12. Pachera is still stuck behind Latifi. Chat, this might be the quickest race we do all year. You're outraged. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. Cap997. Thank you for something for 15 months. Just says unsubscribe. <laughs> oh, chat. What are we doing here? Are we just going through this quickly? I think we are until at least the pits. So is that Monaco, spectacle amazing. Racing, not, not so amazing. But chair is stuck by an Albon. He can't do anything. It's Monaco. Our race is basically ruined. Pachera is not getting points unless there is a bad crash that he can pit on it in. After these guys have already pitted, you can you can gain like twenty second, no, no, maybe not twenty, like fifteen seconds off pitting under a safety car. Uh, Irishman, thank you for some with the prime, and Richie, thank you for some with the prime as well, guys. You are legends. 
I don't care. I like this game. And the funny thing is, I followed today. I feel like loads of people have been obviously finding the stream and stuff for F1 Manager, which is wicked to see. Like, it's odd, right? So for people who don't know kind of my background in content, I'm a football manager player. Play, play the other cool management game that's out there. Um, but I'm a massive F1 fan. But it's the kind of thing where a lot of my viewers and stuff are just football fans. So whilst I would talk about the F1 like on a Monday and stuff, like there's never been an F1 focus, I suppose, to my content. So it's kind of interesting now that we've suddenly got all these new F1 fans. Did Magnuson just got overtaken by Joe? That is embarrassing. It's cool to see all these F1 fans like tuning into the stream and stuff. Is it compatible for Mac through Steam still or through Stream still? I don't know if the game runs on Mac, if that's your question. Sorry. I could up the ERS. Yeah, we, you don't burn for your ERS on neutral at this track, it turns out. I feel... Should we just deploy? You know what? Just ha Mag, uh, Not Magnuson, sorry. Don't deploy yours, Kev. Apologies. We'll see if Pachera can get past Albon. Just, just push as hard as you can. Just see if you can get past Albon. Because if you don't get past him, the race is over. Probably should have done this sooner, to be fair. So Joe is on the medium, so he is going to be a bit quicker than Magnussen anyway. Maybe you just have management game fans. True. True. Or maybe they're just worth the space fans. Maybe just like me. Nah, it couldn't be that. Couldn't be that. Pacher, I've given Pacher absolutely everything, and he's been lapped by Verstappen and Leclerc because he's just stuck behind Latifi. Does anyone else just feel sad? He's used all his ERS and not been able to overtake. To be fair, Albon's actual stats in game are good. So in a track like this, it's very difficult to actually overtake him, which is kind of funny. Charge on. K-Mag has got past Joe, though. So that's good. Signs in the pit. What was Signs starting on, chat? He's gone on to hard, so they're one-stopping. Chair overtakes Albon. He did it. Now, he did it. Oh, into turn one. Use the DRS on the straight. Wait, Albon's on the Albon's on the softs as well. That's why we couldn't get past him. That's ratty. Is Albon's worst stat defending? Well, I'll take it all back in that case. But his overall stats are... Chat. We'll just pretend we didn't see that. We'll just pretend we didn't see that. See what exactly you've learned. Right. How's K Mag doing? I mean K Mag's got past Yo now, so that's good. See what exactly you guys know. You've learned, chat. I'm proud of you guys. Oh. Right, but chair's in 18th. He's he's got no one near him. He was probably gonna happen. In fact, he's dropped Albon so quickly. Magnussen is our one chance at points. People are putting... Everyone in front of Magnussen is going on to the hards later, so there is a chance of an overcut. But it's kind of slim, so don't get your hopes up, is what I'm saying. Everyone's pitted. Magnussen comes out. Magnussen is only P10 after all of that. Never mind. The, the overcut thing, not, not going to work. We need, needed them all to go in and for him to have clear air to run long on these hards, but he's stuck behind the alpha of Bottas now. Big Sag, chat. Big Sag. This is a write-off of a race. This this is a... This is a... It, 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 it's Monaco. It's Monaco. We ain't getting anything here, folks. We are just gonna... We're just gonna fast forward and hope we get a safety car. It's all that we can hope for. It's our only way into this race is a safety car. And even then, it's going to be tricky. I mean, should we just celebrate the fact that Magnussen's currently in eighth now? P8, should we just pretend it's good? Ignore the fact that people behind him have pitted? Sounds good to me. I mean, if Joe creates a, uh, a train... Then we might be okay. If you've got some margin, try to increase the pace a little bit. If Joe creates a train, there's a chance. Because he is currently holding up people. But I, I think he's going to pit very, very soon. <laughs> he's literally just pitted. I knew that was going to happen. I'm fine. 
Is everyone else fine? I mean, good job the prediction today was a safety car, isn't it? K-Mag in seventh. What a write-off, chat. What a write-off today is. We are basically now just going to wait for a safety car. If a safety car happens, we'd put the cars onto mediums now. Otherwise, we're going onto softs. This is Monaco. It might rain. Chat, if it rains, I will do a backflip. We knew we were in a bad spot for this weekend because of how bad we qualified. We're basically ruining a load of other people's races, I realise, by making Magnussen form a train. You know what, Kevin? Just cause chaos. Kevin, I just want... Kevin, where are you? Kevin, just cause chaos, mate. I'm going to state the obvious. This button does not work. Does not work. That's a good overtake. K Mag hasn't got. Well, he's got clean air, but he hasn't got clean air. In the sense that he's got clean air, but he's on old hards that are going to go off in a few laps. Bro, never hold back when you have free air. We're better off trying to hold them up back to help Pachier get closer. I mean, it, it, it doesn't, it literally doesn't make a difference. I just wanted to be the agent of chaos. I thought it'd be fun to make a train and hold everyone back. You know, ruin Russell's race in temp. I'm not thinking about my own race. I'm thinking about the neutrals. I'm trying to give them an entertaining race. I'm like Julius Caesar. You know, you're not entertained, etc. Was that Julius Caesar? Julius Caesar didn't say that. But we'll get, we get our references muddled up here. What's new? Hey, Berend, I appreciate the kind words. Poor Pacher, he's just in 15th. We need a safety car. I'm once again coming to F1 Manager asking for a safety car. Please. You know the Bernie Sanders meme? That's me right now. Paul Sonoda's thinking the same thing. Dear F1 gods, if there is a god... Safety car, please. Right. You know what? I think we go for the old Renault technique. The chair crash into the wall. Make it look like an accident. And don't wrap me out afterwards. I don't think the safety car's coming, chat, that we need. Five laps till the pit window opens. Alpha Tower, he gained a place. Gasly's overtaken Magnussen. It's just a sad situation. We decided to go long and pray for a safety car. It was the only way we were going to be able to make it work. And there is no safety car coming. I'm afraid to say, chat. I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. At least we're holding up Russell and ruining his race. Look at the positives. Did Teo, uh, Teo, Teo, Teo. Someone said how to say it correctly before. Teo. Did Teo manage to lap someone? Oh, he did. He lapped Latifi. Life's good. When do we pit them? We'll just keep waiting. Yeah, I talked about it earlier on stream. We definitely need to see more safety cars. Like They need to do something about the safety car numbers and numbers of retirements. Although we did have a retirement recently, which was good. Can someone cause a safety car? Leclerc's trying to lap people, including K-Mag. Oh, God, we're just getting lapped. Can we not have an instant as people try and unlap themselves? Now, the interesting thing is, with safety cars, cars don't unlap themselves. So if you get a safety car when it's a bit chaotic like this, um, you can have some fun on the restarts. Um, do we just keep running long for another lap or two? I think it's our best bet. There's a great train behind us. You know what? We're just going to keep it going. Teo, you can come in, mate. Uh, not the mediums. Not the mediums. The softs. We'll just we'll just stay out with Magnus as long as we can. Right. 
We're, we're making a train. Does anyone else like trains? I like trains. Hey, suicide's gone to soft at Monaco. It's not in this game, I'm afraid to say, Principal Agent. You can be, you can try and be a know-it-all, but you are wrong, my friend. The strategy is hard softs. It's what the AI has done. So they did it in reverse and did soft hards. And in, in F1 Manager, the AI went soft hards. We're going to go hard softs. We're just making a train. It's just vibes now. You know, we don't really care about our own race chat. We're just trying to make it entertaining. Just vibes. Just vibes at this point. Do we go in this lap or should we just wait longer? We've missed our optimal pit bit. Just keep doing it, Kate. Should we just see? Should we just get him a puncture? I kind of want to see what happens if you get a puncture, chat. Has anyone done this yet? Should we just see? Should we just not pit him and see what happens? Do we like experiments? I, I want to see what happens. I don't know about, about anyone else. Has anyone actually, like, had a car run out and go on to zero? Like, I assume we just get a blowout. I kind of just want to find out. Should we just find out? Uh, tires wears bad. It's fine. You'll be okay. Oh, it might cause a safety car, though, for the prediction. I shouldn't do it, chap. If it wasn't for the fact we have a prediction, I'd do it. But we have a prediction on the line, and I don't want to be responsible for causing a safety Mercedes car from a puncture. A I'm not that guy. I'm not. I'm not going to impact. I'm not going to manipulate the votes. Match fixing. I'm not match fixing. I'm just, you know, having fun. Is that Verstappen or Perez who's just stuck at the back of this now, trying to get through? Oh, poor Perez. Perez is like, I'm going to catch. I'm only 13 seconds behind Max. How many laps? This has been lapped. pacher has been lapped twice. Chat. F's in the chat for Pacher. Magnuson's had fun. I thought you said you wanted to pull a crash gate. I mean, I did. But we also have the prediction I have to consider. I'm a man of the people in that regard. Right, in you come, Kevin. Chat. I stood up expecting a hype, Monaco. I'm sitting back down. I've had enough. I was so excited for Monaco. I'm not sure why. I, th I thought we'd qualify well and then park at the front. And it just didn't happen. Could k might get 12th there? 12th would be an improvement, right? These guys have already are way ahead. They're all up in front, Signs and Hamilton. Where's Pacher? Pacher's just vibing chat. He'll be fine. I need a new pit, pit crew. I mean, that's true. I mean, it's actually not terrible for Magnussen. As a non-F1 fan, why does Monaco exist? It's a very kind of popular track. It's one of the oldest tracks on the calendar. It has a certain prestige to it because it's a big circus around it. But money is probably also a factor. Oh, oh, I think... People will try and argue it's history and prestige over money. The money's a fact. The money's good. But I'd rather lose Spa or Monaco. I'd rather lose Monaco over Spa. Spa actually has good racing. Yeah, the drivers live in Monaco, and to be fair, like the actual spectacle of it, from a skill kind of point of view, it's probably one of the most difficult tracks because there's no margin for error because of all the walls and how narrow it is. You know, if you make a tiny mistake, you are off. Which is why I thought there might be a safety car here in game, which there just hasn't been. You know what? For chair, just, just deploy your battery a little bit, mate, because you're not going to use it otherwise. Even in neutral, it feels like you don't use the battery. <laughs> I'm putting in neutral now. 
I mean, Magnuson getting 12th isn't actually terrible if you can hold on to it. Like, it actually is kind of an okay performance. Monaco is usually very entertaining in qualifying. Tommy Hamster, thank you for the seven months. Tommy Hamster, are you in a real hamster? I've never asked this, and it has been troubling me at night. And I'd like closure. But Cher could be going for Vettel, should we? I mean, overtakes are worth XP. I feel like you must get way less XP at Monaco. But yeah, can you get him? Can you get him? You are a real hamster. I have closure. I can sleep at night again, chat. I, I changed the FOV on my camera so it's wider, but I now feel small in my camera frame. Asking Earth wants to clarify they are just the Earth. You know what? I feel calm now, everyone. Might get him here, but I don't think it's going to happen. Overtake failed. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Etc. Uh, Fuglov for Kura. Have I said... I feel like I've said your name. It's Fuglov for Kura. Chat, why can I not read? Chat, why can I not read? Send help. Thank you for the two months, though. I'll get it, I'll, I'll get it better by month three. Is he going to get him? I feel like if we don't get him this lap, we are in trouble. There's still ages left to this race, chat. We're just getting to the end. If there was a safety car or rain, it could be entertaining. Or if we were at the front, it would probably be fun because you're having to lap cars. He's used all his ERS and we couldn't get a move done. Mick gets points here. They're easy, chat. Easy. Some of you get a bit carried away with how you're remembering Mick. It's like your childhood home. You're remembering it better than it actually was, chat. It was pretty crap, our time with him. Fuel range low. Less of that. Maybe everyone will run out of fuel. That could happen. DNF second round here. True. He probably DNFs twice at once. But yeah. He's still trying to get that. He can't get him though. Bless him. I mean, at least K-Mag's probably going to get... Uh, he's just been overtaken. Get me to the end. Get me to the end. Get me to the end. There's no safety car. But yeah, got Vettel though, chat. Should we all watch it? We'll watch it. Now just focus on the Danny Hume. I read your name backwards. I'm, I'm smart. I'm clever. Good overtake. Clean for chair. Mate, thank you for the three bumps. A bold move indeed. And with that, they've gained the position. To be fair, they are, both our drivers are using their low engines. Like, we went into this race with... Oh, chat, that's probably why we've struggled. I literally re, re put on the bad engines. That's probably been a factor in the weekend's performance. Gasly's going to get points as well. And, Ock and Norris is going to get points. Alpha Tauri might go above us. Should I be worried? Probably. Why are Aston so terrible in this game? Uh, Realistic. Coast, please. Realistic. Chat, get me to the end. Get me to the end. We need to save some fuel because we're not going to finish. Oh, but Jair's going to run. Although, because we've been lapped, we're going to do less laps than everyone else. So we'll probably be fine. But we'll get... Get me to the end. Get me out of here. I mean... <laughs> He, hey, Matt could still get Joe. He could still... He's been really good on his tyres. Hey, Matt, have a go, son. Have a bloody go. Okay, Kevin, you, don't, you don't win the raffle if you don't buy a ticket, folks. What team does support an F1? People ask me this. And I, I answer it the same way every time. I go, people ask me this. So people probably get in deja vu. I've never really been one to follow specific uh, teams in F1. I've always gravitated more towards drivers. Just because teams' identities seem to change fairly frequently in terms of the drivers, I've always found it way more easy to connect with individuals in the sport over the teams themselves. But right now, my favourite drivers on the grid are Danny Rick, 
Uh, well, for as long as he's on the grid, I guess. And uh, Fernando Alonso, I'm a big fan of. I was. The only team I can say I truly loved was Renault with Hulkenberg and Danny Rick. I don't know why. I love those two drivers. I want to hook him back. I am one of those people who every time Hulkenberg gets told he's getting a drive as a reserve driver, I get giddy with excitement and I hurt all over again. And it pains me. I get my hopes up every time. Chat, I'll admit it. We're not getting the move here, I don't think, from K-Mag. His battery is donezo. He's going to have one more go. If we're lucky. Unless we get lapped here, which I don't think we're going to get lapped. Replace Teo with um, Hulkenberg. Absolutely not. I can't wait for Hulkenberg to get his podium chat. It's going to happen one day. Don't try and tell me otherwise, chat. Don't try and ruin my dreams. But chair, just... The race is over, Pacher. You're about to cross the line, right? He's not far off by being lapped by K-Mag. Where's Schumacher? Formula E. Formula E. Oh, wasn't Charles Crashlet? Yeah, the game's only so realistic. The Leclerc's about, uh, gonna win the race here. Unless something happens with the traffic, but I think he's just cleared it all. Chat, we tried so hard and we got so far in the end. It didn't even matter. Copy. Oh, it's not happening, is it? It's not happening. Let's all admit it. We all know it. Please. He did it. He did him on lap one here. He's not he's not doing him here. Jack, you come into Glasgow. Uh, probably not. If you, I assume you're asking for the uh, okay, Champions League off. game. I live right now far, far south of England. Right, so I, getting up north is not a one-day trip. I know it's morbid, but you reckon it will include crashes that end careers? Bruh. Bruh. You know what? In a licensed Formula 1 game, it probably wouldn't be approved by the drivers if they can die. Considering they are real human beings. There's probably legal issues there around having real people die in a video game. Maybe regens can die. Maybe the fake drivers that aren't real can die, chat. I don't know, you know, maybe. But I doubt it. Okay, race is over. Sad. How many failed overtakes do you reckon we had there? I feel like a lot. I mean, technically, we actually gained two places across the entire race. A genius strategy. By going long, Pucher did actually make up places. Ghastly getting four points there. Hurts, though. It puts Alpha Tauri back ahead of us by a point. Our season goal is six. Oh, at least Pacheco got a development point. Life's good. Life's good. What was it? He had two successful overtakes, seven successful defends, 16 failed overtakes, and zero defends because he was never chasing anyone. I'm kind of surprised there wasn't more attempted defends and overtakes and stuff. That was, that was the worst race we've had so far in our time here. That was that is the worst race of my career, but at least we've got a team hub, so we could all go out on the sesh there for morale and stuff. And we have a new race simulator for more experience. That's gonna that's gonna help put your reach his development level. And the hospitality, I'll tell you what, the builders in the local area, they are loving it right now. Do we get in John Becker chat? We didn't scout him enough to know how much we need to pay him. How much is our how much is our current staff on? 
So our, our race engineer who's comparable is on 980. What's what's Gary on? Maybe Gary's the problem, chat. 720. So I reckon we, we offer up to a million for Yawn. I don't want to say Gary's the problem. I think Gary's the problem. Oh, yeah, chat. Uh, mods, can we pay out the prediction? I'll offer 950. Just to minimize the risk of peeing him off. Gary's the problem, chat. It's close. I'll give him a mill. No one tell Gary that we're negotiating this behind his back. Whenever I think of Gary, I think of the snail in SpongeBob. Oh, green arrow. There's more positives than negatives. I'll give you three seasons then. Does that make you feel better? Three seasons, 1.1. I can't go higher than that, chap. Final offer. Deal or no deal. Chat. Let's all just remember we had some good times with Gary. More bad times than good. It's time to go. It's time to go. And now he's wearing the Haas uniform. Oh. Thank you, Gary, for your for your work, but you have now been replaced. I've got rid of Mix Engineer. He talks so nicely as well. Oh, yeah, we should change the engines. Chat, what's the next race? Is it Baku? Did I, oh, did I change gearboxes? Yeah, I did. Oh, it is Baku. Do I go with a new gearbox for Baku? I feel like this is such a speed-intensive circuit that a good, decent gearbox is probably worth it. Mick and Gary are sat in a pub making their pints last all night. Like, I feel bad. Oh, yeah, the pit crew, chat. The pit crew are bad. How do we upgrade the pit crew? So do we just choose an area to develop? Your pit crew... Performance ratings increased by training throughout each season. A training focus guides what they'll improve. Let's work on tyre changes. <laughs> That's where our issue's been all year. Oh, yeah, and Pachar's development point. Chat, what are we putting it in? Reactions. It's going in reactions for a while, I feel like. His reactions are not good enough. Yawn is here. Welcome, Yawn. Financial report. Da -da -da -da. We're, we're, we're going to have lost a lot of money because we've built a lot of stuff, but I can tell by our balance it's still going up. Review in two months. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Chat, do we... Do we attempt... This with new gearboxes? Do we go with fresh gearboxes for this one, do we think? One driver finished with at least 12th position. Easy. I feel like this is a track where a fresh gearbox probably isn't a bad thing. Of all the tracks on the grid. Fresh engines, fresh gearboxes. Jack was going into the pit crew ready to start sacking and seemed genuinely disappointed when there was no one to sack. You read my mind. You read my mind. They've made me so angry. Hello from Baku, where we're looking forward to a weekend of racing. I'm hoping that that new um, gearbox is going to help on straights. Cloudy chap. Pause champ. Who 
who's ready to see some people get upset? Simulate to qualifying. Confirm. Chat, did the, uh, did the uh, prediction get paid out on the safety cars? I can't believe we didn't get a safety car there. Here we are, back I've seen lots Formula of safety One cars here. As we prepare for qualifying. For those teams hoping to pick up points in tomorrow's race, qualifying is a great opportunity to get... A oh, I'm nervous. Hey, Mag 12, put chair 60. Practice. Look at the setup. That's so sad. How was your couple of seasons, uh, hours out? It was good, thank you, MH9i. It was good. Justice for Mick and Gary. Look, chat. They've gone. Get over it. You'll recover with time, chat. I promise right, you. Check. Let's get out early. Get me out early because th this is the one track where when I've played it before, I saw like three safety cars in a single race. And I don't trust people to be clean in quality. Bottas has the same idea. Not my hass. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Hey, Grizzly Gamer. How's Teo doing? Um, he is improving. Oh, please don't block Albon. I hate Williams. I hate Williams. Chat, I hate Williams. Please get out of the way, Williams. This is going to make me nervous. Do I not do setups? No, I don't do practice. Getting blocked at the castle. I hope we'll clear them before the castle. Here we go. Please get out of the way. 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 That is not getting out of the way, is it? That is completely compromised his line. Ah! Yeah, you get more benefits if you micromanage practice chat. I'm just going to be honest with you. I just find it very boring to play. But there's no right or wrong way to play a management game. You can definitely get benefits from managing practice. It's just not for me. The blocking is really frustrating. Especially at Baku. Please get out of the way. Just stay left. Give him a penalty! But there's no point even finishing these laps. I'm going to maybe just go out and clean there. Or do I just wait to the end of the session? The, the blocking is annoying. I don't know what how you fix that, though. <laughs> From a game dev point of view, I think it's just going to be something you have to deal with. But it basically incentivizes you to... Um, I feel like just go out at the end of the session and hope you get lucky. So 143 laps. I probably want to be sending the drives out 330. 330, I think. Is it just me or is the radio commentary sometimes glitch and you don't hear them speak? It is designed in a way where it doesn't play all the time, otherwise it'd get annoying. I assume Leclerc's on an in-lap there. I hope I'm sending them out the right time here. We'll find out, chat. I might have gone too early. I've gone way too early. Actually, no, I think we're okay. I hope we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. I just wanted to get in these laps quickly. In case there's any yellow flags. We should be fine, right? It's a quick circuit, though. I explain why Mick Scott, he just isn't very good in game and he wasn't driving very well. Chat, should we be worried about the blocking? I think we're good. I think we've timed this okay. We are good. 
Everything's fine. As long as this session now doesn't get red flagged, we will set times. You can get like crashes and stuff in qualifying that would just ruin the laps. But we're okay. Remember when Magnussen spun out that time? K Mag up to ninth. Pacher, tenth. Not a safe. Really good time for K Mag though, chat. Uh, weather is just cloudy, I think, for every session. Now we anxiously await the times to come in and hope the chair doesn't drop down too much. If someone wants to crush now, you know, ruin the session for everyone, that would be ideal. Shout, this is not good. This is really not good. Per chair, per chair, per chair. I'm so sad. Who set a time? Jo set a time at the end that sent per chair down. K back ninth, though. Pauses. 0.5 gap. 0.5 gap. Maybe I shouldn't have got rid of Mick. No, nah, nah, nah. Don't be, don't be ridiculous. Did you, did you guys actually think I was being serious there? Absolutely not. Why would I want Mick back? Stop it. Still cloudy. Bring back Mick, but chairs finished. You're wrong. Hey, Chris Ormy, how are you doing, dude? Long time no speak. Pacher is a younger prospect. Pacher is a worse driver now, but he's five years younger. People forget, you know. Mick, Mick is 23, chat. He is old man. I'm hoping that we're not going to get... Oh, Leclerc could be a problem here. Leclerc, please don't be a problem. Leclerc, please don't be a problem. Leclerc, please don't be a problem. What does that make Alonso? Alonso age is like fine wine. I think we're going to be okay. I think. I hope we're going to be okay. Go on, K-Mag. No traffic, chat. No traffic. No traffic. The Ferrari's going to be starting its flying lap on this straight. We are going to get a tow. We are going to get a tow. Oh, why would he move out the way there? That makes no sense. That's all flat out. That's weird. We'll take it, though. It didn't block us. First lap of the session. Good time. And then we block the Ferrari on their lap. Sauce, mate. Karma. I don't know what Ferrari that was. It was Leclerc. Watch Leclerc's time here. Actually, Leclerc still did well. Maybe we didn't block him. Maybe we gave him a toe as well. Good time for K-Mag. That's a legitimate time. Only Russell got blocked in those first runouts. Kind of surprised to see an Aston through to this sesh. Did I time that okay? I did time that okay. I want to get the, the lap in early. Because if you watch the first episode of the Alpine episodes on YouTube, you'll know how much we got shafted. By a um, by a yellow flag in quali. Big deserve more respect. No, 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 no. But if, if you're a part of the Mick Schumacher fan club, this is now the Pochair project, and I can only apologise. Can we get a nice time? If someone wants to have an incident in the castle section, that would be great. Anyone want to crash in the castle? Anyone? No, never mind. Okay. Are we going to improve here? Did we improve that? I don't think we did. Also, chat, sometimes I accidentally hit the speed up button when I don't want to. Wait, what's happening here? Whoa, 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 whoa. We were good. Okay, we should be safe. Vettel and Sonoda aren't going quicker. Everything's fine. <sighs> okay. The Pacher project's finished in my eyes. You've just got to believe... Bottas going out, by the way, is a big shock. Bottas is very good in game. Top 10 is good. 
I can I can all the fact Pochair got it was traffic. It was it was traffic for Pochair. You know what? I've never really had an opinion on Mick Schumacher, but I feel like this game's just made really me hate good. him. Let's get a lap in. Let's get a lap in. Everyone's going to go out early because it's a short time. Blocking is way less bad in the later sessions, chat. Right, K-Mag, what can you do here? First run out. Please be good. Please be good. That's okay. Splitting the Alpines would be a decent result. There's going to be another lap to do. That was on old softs. Ninth. I mean, to be fair, that's probably where we expect to be, in all honesty. Uh, right. Fresh softs chat. Fresh softs. I'm, I'm gambling here. How late do we leave it? It's a game of chicken. I think we go later. I'm going to go later because every time I've gone early, it's not worked out. Every every time I go early, there then isn't an incident. That's okay. We've come out in a bit of traffic, but there's space. We can make it work. Okay, Mag, how are we? How are we? Can he improve, chat? How are we feeling? We're on fresh ones. Everyone else is unused. The AI strategy for tyres. Seems to be they use new set, new set, used set, uh, new set, and then they use a new set for both Q3. And then the second one they do on a, one of the three used. Look, all we need to know is, chat, K-Mag is the real MVP. K-Mag is the protagonist of this save game. Let's be real here. Everyone else is a fraud. Our question is... Can, can we get Alonso? Can, can we get him? Could it happen? Jack is tough but fair. Hard agree. Jack, do you take strong suggestions for your usual playlist? Uh, I haven't before, but never say never. K-Mag, he could not improve. I still had it on tyres. Did he even go quicker there? I'm not even sure he went quicker. Signs locking out the top of the grid for Ferrari. Why no music today? I don't do music when I'm playing F1. The, the sound design in this game is too good to have to have music on in the background. Red Bull had a good potential, but they didn't show it in the later sessions. The chair was off the pace, chat. I don't know if he got blocked. I don't know if he had an incident. Here we are, folks. We're back for another day of scintillating F1 action. It's race day. Mm. What should we do as a prediction, chat? What should we do as a prediction? Cloudy is the weather forecast. Lots of cloud. That is going to linger. I feel like medium hards is just the play. Is it just boring if I do the plan A strategy? We're not getting double points. Double points would be ambitious here. I think if we get any points, that'd be pretty good. I think we maybe just go for the optimal strat here. I think that's probably the play here. Unless, I mean, Pacher is in a position where maybe... Maybe we go hard mediums. 
The thing is, even if you get a safety car, it has to be in such a tight window. But I think that is the only way he's going to get into the points. I think we're in that position that we've been in a few times this year where our best bet is just to split strategies and hope that one of them works and gets us one car into the points. I think that's what we go with, chat. You're crazy to start the hearts. I don't disagree. I don't disagree. Unless we gamble on an early safety car and just go softs. Car set at 50%. I, I sim the sessions, chat. I can't be bothered doing the pr practice sessions. If you want to play the game that way, that is fine. But it ain't for me. Soft, medium, soft. I don't think we've got, I don't think we've got the speed. Mods, can we get a prediction going? Let's get, let's get a prediction going. Can... Let's go with... Hmm. Can Magnussen finish 8th or higher? Can Magnussen finish 8th or higher? Can he get up one position during the race? The safety car percentage chances in game, I'm going to be honest, they are not worth paying attention to because the game doesn't simulate it accurately. Sadly. Right, chat, prediction is live. Magnussen 8-4 higher. Will, he's starting P9, so he's going to have to gain at least one place during the race. I'll tell you what, those straight line speed upgrades we've got coming for Silverstone are going to be so important. Okay, chat. Prediction is done for doing this. Let's see how we get on. Did I update it's the push modes? I think I did, right? Here we go. Did I update the all the instructions? We'll find out together. Yeah, let's hope they're better than the real life updates. It's right now, and away we go. Right, Teo, don't let me down. We should go and pull with K Mag. Yellow flag straight away. Look, I had a crunch there. Someone locked up. Has someone cooked their tight? There's a VSC. Chat, there is a VSC immediately. There's a VSC immediately. I hate pausing the game. Alpha Romeo just moved up a place. Red flag! Red flag! We've got a red flag. Wait, red flag the chair's flag. out. Let's see what happened there. Was that a crash? Multiple cars. I, I think Pacher locked up. Oh, so it's on lock up and going to Pacher. Ah, he was stuck behind traffic. And that's a big smash. They'll have felt that. So we could just change tyres now. <laughs> uh, we don't have to change anything, right? Our drivers are fine. Is there any point in changing the strategy here? I don't think there is. Just stay on stay on the hearts. And then Magnuson is gonna be on mediums. There we go, chat. We had a red flag. Teo lost a place. Literally we've had a red flag on the first corner. The restart is moving. Right, we'll away. go again. Imagine if we get another one. Continues. Did anyone DNF there? I'll tell you what, the cars that crashed and in DNF, oh, they're under investigation. Or is that a penalty? Go. I mean, that's a penalty. Surely they should let the traffic clear there. I'm not happy. Magnuson's down in 10th. Wait, chat, I just realised I have all this stuff still set up from when it was a yellow, because it was a VSC that then changed. I'm an idiot sandwich.
So the reason that stuff I changed it. is because around here it was saying VSC. So I was like, we'll react to the VSC and then it was red flagged. Technically, they should have started an original grid order. True, we didn't even make it for a checkpoint before the the red flags. Go on, Pachi, have a go on, Bottas. Deploy here. Get, get him done. Get him done. See you later. In fact, you can say I'm push. It's this that needs to just stay on. Oh, go on, deploy. Go on, deploy. There. Hold the position. Everything's fine, chat. Everything's fine. Why are we going so slow here? Baku has drama always. I'll tell you what. Magnuson's back up to ninth, folks. He's thinking about it as well. K-Mag. No, 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 no. K-Mag. K-Mag. Easy, Tiger. Easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I caramba. He's up to eighth. Okay, good job, Pev. Did, did, what did the AI do? Magnuson is the only person going short this stint. Everyone else went on to hards. They can't be doing hards to the end, can they? They can't be... The AI cannot be trying to do hards to the end. That cannot be their strat. I refuse to believe it. ERS enabled. Oh, look, Pacher's got his new engineer and gets the fastest lap. Coincidence, I think not. Use overtake button. Stop the count. Stop the count. What happened to Mick? Uh, no comment. Uh, yeah, Teo Pacher is an 18-year-old. He's in his first season in F2. In game, he's 18 years old. He's very, very good potential wise. Come on, Kev. Go on, Kev. The chairs thing about having to go on, Rick. Go on, Teo. Has he done him? He has done him. Love it. He's making moves. But chair haters in the mud. You've got to be careful on this usage. Kevin, Kevin. I know Kevin's on the mediums. He is having fun racing these guys all on the hards. Charge on. New engineer's voice is weird. Whoa, chat. We can't say that. He's a nice bloke. I think we harvest here. Try and get the battery charged up for a move later. Charge on, charge on. Go on, lads. Okay, Kevin. Few few laps of charging, I think, here, chat. Few laps of charging. L battery. Is what's needed. I mean, right now, Magnuson is in eighth. He's in seventh. He's got ahead of Russell whilst charging the battery. K Mag, you are on a mad one here, mate. Haas with an overtake. That's what. Oh, this is Pacher. This now is Pacher. Focus on the Haas. On Vel. Easy. Easy. DRS too strong. K Mag is just going to race past all these guys. What's the difference between overtake and deploy? Deploy lets the driver use his AI to decide when to use the battery. Deploy is basically saying just use it. Mode push. Cover that. Whenever. That's my understanding of it. Like, basically, deploy is just burn it on the straight, whereas overtake it take is strategically use it to overtake. Oh, he's faked him. He's faked him. This is a long straight. Okay, so we can start to close the gap. Gubby. Is he going to get him, chat? Is he going to get him? 
Is he going to get him? He's going to try and get him on the inside. Kevin, Kevin, that's naughty. You're not allowed to do that, Kevin. I don't think we've got DRS here, though. So Alonso might be able to come back. Kevin is flying on these tyres, chat. The chair's not doing too bad, although he's got no one in front of him now. And lift off. Uh, Vettel and Rick have got, Danny Rick have got uh, penalties to serve. They had an incident turn one that caused a red flag. Check, K-Mag looks good. Because of that uh, red flag, you basically got a free lap without tyre wear. So we can be a little bit more aggressive pretty much for the entirety of our stints here. So you can push a bit more. The big thing for Kevin is trying to find a gap for him to pit in for the hards, because everyone else is on hards now. Whereas we're going to have to pit sooner. We're going to need to find a gap for him to come out into on his, on his hards. This is all okay. This is all okay. Uh, do you, do, DJ Lummy? I don't know why your name is so hard to read. DJ Lummy, apologies. Thank you for serving with the Prime, mate, though. Monaco report, boring race. Drivers qualified outside the points, finished outside the points. That, that is my synopsis. I kind of want to try and push to catch up with Sonoda for DRS. Same here. Boat push. If yeah. we can get into DRS range deployment, we can then harvest whilst using the DRS. Yeah, I think the AI will go to soft. Hey, Levin, how's it going? Welcome to the stream, dude. Is Pache getting that gap down? He is. Magnuson's got a way to go. I've got to be careful how much we deploy here. I, I want to get impatient. But Cher's got a way better chance of getting into range. Just to just to kind of follow along. Uh, you do get a free tire, tire, tire change under the red flag. But literally, the red flag happened on turn one of lap one. So because of that, I didn't change the tires. Everyone else seemed to change to go onto hards. I don't know if they're going to try hards to the end. I feel like that's going to be a struggle. Okay, but Cher got into DRS chat. That is big. Okay, now we harvest. We're just going to trail Sonoda for a little bit. Charge the battery. Okay, Mag's 2.2 behind. Alright, bit of patience now, I think, is going to be needed. Is Pachia better than Mick? He's got lower, like, actual current ability and a lower current rating, but his potential is better in terms of it. it's a higher multiplier, so he'll develop quicker. Jer's trying to make a move here on Sonoda, but we just want to charge the battery. If he overtakes him, amazing. If he doesn't, it's not the end of the world. K-Mag is closing that gap on his mediums as well, chat. Might deploy on this straight next lap. Okay, but Jer can go on neutral now and actually use his ERS. He's got the move on Sonoda immediately. Uh, the warning sign is penalties for those two drivers. Haas with an overtake there. Let's have I a think this was another. I think this was where he got Vettel before. Yeah. Just after turn two. That's straight there. DRS is really strong there. Yeah, the red flag was a bit anticlimactic because it happened on the first quarter. It didn't change a great deal. I was going to deploy there. Deploy on this straight. Okay, we're within a second. Now we go on to that. Uh, save the tyres a little bit, both of you. Just hop on board. So the chair right now is 2.5 behind Joe. Deploy. 
by on the straight. K Mag dropped out of DRS by harvesting. It's going to be harder to keep up with the Mercedes, I think, whilst harvesting. Although, actually, the battery's in an okay spot now, just off a little bit of charging, so we should be okay. Uh, I need to turn the chair off this in a second. Yeah, K Mag's doing really well. Obviously, he's on mediums, everyone else is on hards. I'm wondering if the AI is going to try and run hards all the way to the end, because that seems so ambitious to me. These guys are all squabbling ahead, but Chair might be able to catch them. Tire wear is good because we got a free lap at the start with no wear. Okay, K Mag is in range. If you can just keep up with the Mercedes, uh, yeah, the Mercedes here, we're good. Basically, here, the Mercedes is just going to help pull us along whilst we minimise wear. I think that has to be the plan. Because we're going to pit sooner than them. That's 66% wear. But Cher's on the same strategy as everyone else, so his kind of lap trap position is kind of representative. I want him to push hard on this run. Try and get into DRS range of the guys in front while they squabble. It's only a second, like, point two out. Uh, the AI changed um, changed their uh, strategies under the uh, the red flag, yeah. They went on to hard. Yeah, I'm paying attention to the fuel. When you're running behind other cars, like, you tend to have to worry about the fuel a lot less. Is K-Mag really going to have a go here? I mean, mate, if you want to go for it, deploy. Mode push. Copy that. Okay, Kevin. Did he get that move? Yeah, he did. Holy crap. He is quick. I know we're on these mediums. I thought we'd get held up way more by these guys in the hearts. To the point where I was thinking we'd just get pulled along by Hamilton for the foreseeable future. Who's leading the championship? Great question. I've been so preoccupied by our one or two points, I've not been paying as much attention. I believe it's Leclerc, Verstappen and Sainz, the front three. I think Leclerc is leading the way. Okay, but chair's now closed up enough. More charge, more charge. Where he can now just charge his battery and slipstream off these guys. K Mag's not got any friends to work with now, unfortunately, but he's pitting soon. Wait, six laps of the window opened? Oh, of course, he's going on to hard. We might have to go a little bit longer. Where's good? How's the chair looking? He's just outside of DRS range. Really keeping it here. Keeping in it allows me to harvest, but if he drops out, then we're not going to be able to harvest. If I was microing this more, I'd probably just only have him harvest in that last sector. Uh, not the last sector, the sector two. Like castle section where it's slower. The chair is struggling, chat, to keep up. It's a race position gained for a Mercedes. What happened, Kev? What now. happened? Now, oh, it's, just, it's just DRS. I mean, we, we basically did the same to them. Yeah, you have to use two different types of uh, two different types of compound chat. I don't mind us staying behind Hamilton here and just getting pulled along a little bit, especially if it allows me to save the tires for a bit longer. We're not racing Hamilton. Hamilton is just going to help us along. We're just not sure if we'll be able to stay in the DRS range with this setup. I guess we'll find out. Charge on, charge on. Ah, oh, I think we're doing okay here, chat. Obviously, our, our starting position wasn't great, and we're taking a bit of a gamble with Magnuson on the on the mediums. But like he had a moment there, that'd be worrying. Maybe he did have a moment because he's slow out. Yeah, 
Mode push. Copy that. I need him to push so he can get into range, otherwise he's not going to have DRS for the back straight. He might not get it anyway. Kev, if you've got some margin, try to increase the pace a little bit. Copy. Try and improve the pace a little bit, Kevin. Did he get DRS there? Did he get the DRS? He didn't. Sad. Oh, he did. Okay. That works. Charge on, please. Copy that. The chair's got a harvest as well. I think we're okay. You go so much slower on harvest on this track, though. Okay, Kevin. Okay. If you if you want to overtake him whilst we're trying to harvest that, you know, I have some racing. Go motor racing. Oh my word, but yeah, That's you work, crazy sob. Is that a new race position for Haas? I mean, now just going to neutral on both. Well, at least Kevin. Now he's ahead again. I don't want to know about the ERS strategy. Don't tell me what I need already know. When is the next Alpine video out? Probably tomorrow evening. If not, it'll definitely be up Saturday. I think we've done pretty much as well as we could do here. I kind of wish I'd almost put Pacher on the mediums, but I don't know if he would have been able to clear traffic in the same way that Kevin has. What we're learning here is that when we're on the softer compound, when we're on mediums, we can pretty much outrace everyone on the grid except the Red Bulls and Ferraris. Which is not bad info to have, at least on faster tracks that rely on raw speed. But Cher's still in DRS here. Because Kevin's in clear traffic now. You're going to be a little more wary. Kev's tyre wear is still pretty good all in all. There's a lot of wiggle room here. It's gone the hards. We are entering at like a window in which we could pit in. Like if there was an instant right, how quick quick edit here. I get rid of that. If I wanted to go onto uh, how soon could I go onto the hards to make it work? Yeah, we are we are basically in a situation now where if we if a if a safety car happened, we would pit Magnuson. We would definitely still pit Magnuson if a safety car happens at this point. Because I think he would be able to make the hards work. His tyre management seems pretty good. Like, it's never really been a concern. He is just now running his own race. Is Lewis behind? Lewis is still hanging behind, but... I don't know if we're building much of a gap to these other cars, because they're going to be dragging each other along. Uh, maybe get a second on... A half a second on these guys, but every lap we're getting half a second is pretty big at this point. Do you think any team will improve over the summer break in, uh, in real life? It'll be interesting to see, actually. I haven't really given that much thought, but yeah, of course, there's a summer break. I've not been seeing a lot of the talk around the paddock uh, ahead of this weekend in the F1 chat. Has there been much talk about teams bringing up great packages? I realise uh, Pacher's still on Harvest. He doesn't need to be on that anymore. What race? You can go motor racing, Pacher. Hamilton just got Magnuson while I was looking away. Every time I look away, something happens. Save fuel. And that was just a DRS overtake, wasn't it? After the second took corner. Praying the new floor regs cripple Red Bull and Ferrari. Yeah, it's going to be interesting, isn't it? Because I forgot, yeah, all those, the flexibility of the floors. Is that thing? Yeah, it'd be interesting to see if that actually has a tangible effect on many of the teams who were using it. Third of the way, other uh, through on the hards are on seventy-six percent. Do you reckon they're really going all the way to the end on these? Yeah, they could be. Are they really all going to pit lap one and go all the way on hards, conserving them? 
If they do, that is concerning. Medium soft, I don't think, is an option. I, there is no shot that this is a thing that we could try and do. Is there? No. No, 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 no. No. We are committed to a different kind of one-stop. I didn't... Oh, the issue is as well... The chair started on the hards already, so he had he would have had to have swapped under red flag. But actually, did these cars... I feel like some of the cars were on the hards to begin with, or am I wrong? It was like every, no one else started on the hards. The red flag happened and they all moved to hards. Uh, you can't... You Unfortunately, Vario, you have to do two different types of tyres. I'll tell you what, if they run all the way to the end of the hards, I have learned a valuable lesson about tyre wear at Baku on the hards. Yeah, I guess on Pacher we could have swapped and gone medium, medium, but I'm not sure if that extra pit stop would have made that big of a difference. Yeah, no one else started on the hards. Man, I'll tell you what. That red flag turn one really did f*** us, didn't it? Holy crap. I didn't realise it was that bad for us. I just think AI looked at him and went, we'll go hard to the end. Whereas Pucher was would have had to have made a stop anyway. Kevin Mangus and I could have put on the hards. I suppose, but that's all Captain Hindsight. Thing is, I don't know if medium mediums ever would have worked for Pacher. Because he's not that quick. Yeah, there is still a lot of laps to go. Who knows? If there's a safety car, would they all try and get on softs? Because if there's a safety car, right? And say Alonso goes on to softs, everyone around is gonna be like, well, we're on the hards to the end, and they're gonna be worn. We actually need a safety car with about 10 laps left. Because if a safety car happens with 10 laps left, all the cars around will react. And if they don't react, well, Pucher will pit. I mean, a, a safety car now, I guess, wouldn't be a bad thing, but I don't know if they'd pit for a safety car now. Have I seen any cars retire yet? Yeah. T twice it was my Mick Schumacher, but I have seen Danny Rick retire. Yeah, chat, I think our race is going to be relying on a safety car, which I'll be honest, we've not seen many of them. So if there is a, if there is an F1 manager god out there, we're going to watch Pacher go overtake. <laughs> Thank you, gods. They did, did me a favour, did me a solid immediately. Yeah, to be That's fair, we, we had Magnussen run out of fuel. Salary. That was awkward. <clears throat> Speaking of Mick Schumacher, what happened to him? He wasn't very good. And in-game, his development is not good anyway. And he had, his contract was up at the end of the year. So he gave him a few races to prove himself. And granted, he did become a bit of a strategic tool to get Magnus some points by running long and acting as a blocker. Um, I'll tell you what, Hamilton is dropping Magnussen here. If you've got some margin, Although we can push to a bit more. A little bit. But, um, yeah, we, we let Mick go. But Cher is three ratings lower, is five years younger, and has development potential of high, whereas Mick is only average. It's the way that play, uh, players, play football manager, the way that drivers develop is you get points for on-track actions during practice sessions, uh, quality and racing then all of those things are then given a multiplier which is like the potential growth and mix isn't very good like his potential growth so as a result like he the multiplier isn't amazing for development whereas Pacher has high development potential so that multiplier is much higher how did monaco go we qualified outside the points we got pretty unlucky with Pacher getting blocked by latifi 
and the race was it was it was a Monaco race where we prayed for a safety car and it didn't happen. Pachero is getting pulled along by Sonoda here now, which is nice. But if he could get into DRS range here, it would be kind of big. I don't want him to overtake. I just wanted to be close enough to benefit from DRS. Where's the detection point here? Are we going to hit catch him before the detection point? No, because we're not going to get within that second. Although we are now. Don't overtake him. Don't overtake him. We want to stay behind him. We just want to follow him in DRS. Uh, you can play the game infinitely, year, like infinite years into the future, I believe. So I believe for the ERS, the blue is the amount that's been charged during the lap and the yellow that depletes is the amount that's been used. But I'll be honest, I'm not 100%. So if anyone has uh, any clarifications on it. Yeah, K-Mag's losing time, sadly. But we knew that was going to happen as these mediums drop out. I wish I could put Magnuson onto more softs, but the fact he's got to go onto hards hurts my soul. Wait, chat. Did I not update? Did I accidentally delete Magnuson's... I, I accidentally deleted Magnuson's strategy. Apparently, we were meant to pit this lap. How did I? How did that happen? How did I get rid of the strategy? This is the lap we need to pit at least. So we timed it well. Box, Kev, box. Kevin, box. We're, bo we're boxing this lap, Kev. You can burn these up, mate. Come on, mate. Copy. Oh, I tested soft. And then I hit escape. I didn't realize that would reset it like that. I guess that makes sense. Where's Kev going to come out here? These cars are quite bunched up. He's probably going to come out behind Joe. Nah, actually, that's ambitious. He's going to come out around Sonoda, I think. Chat, we're about to feel very, very sad about the red flag on turn one. Chat, maybe I should work for Ferrari. Maybe I am working at Ferrari. Maybe someone at Ferrari had that issue that we just had, where they accidentally deleted the strategy. That would explain a lot, wouldn't it? If you get sacked, you can't move teams, which is a bit of a shame that you can't move teams in game, but you just can't. It's a limitation of the game. What you can do is um, flashback. You can go back, I think, a few races and try and play out a few the races differently to see if you can save your job. Oh, K-Mag's coming out behind Pusher. That is bad. The only thing that's going to work in our favour is that Pusher is going to have mediums to race on when he eventually comes in. Oh, Push chat. It's so sad. Know that these cars, so we, for people coming in, we had a red flag turn one and everyone switched to hards and they're now trying to make the hards work for the entire race. Pass with an overtake. Whereas because I started Magnuson on the mediums and did put him on the hards, he was screwed and Pacher started on the hards anyway. So he couldn't then go on to mediums for the whole race. I'll tell you what, the, the, like, the Magnuson one, I could have had the four Sally, I suppose, to go on to hard to make them work for the whole race. Poucher, literally, we couldn't do anything differently, could we? Because you have to use two compounds. He was the only person on the entire grid, I think, who started on hards. And we were just going to go long and then switch to mediums. But now everyone else is just going to run hards to the end. Yeah, to be fair, K-Mag can just push these hards. Just push. Hard. The fact that people are making the hards work for so long, they must have them on the most conservative strategy. Like, k -Mag is going to be able to do some racing. They could still pit. I mean, there could be a situation where they, they are losing enough time. Really, what we need is... A, this is ironic. We need another safety car. A safety car would create a domino effect where if one person comes in for softs, everyone around them feels a need to. 
Because if Perez went on to softs, right, he's going to come out in front of Russell, but behind Hamilton on the safety car. Hamilton's going to go, well, Perez is going to start behind me on the softs, so then they swap. We could end up with a cascading effect. Or they might just accept that Perez is going to get back past them. But a safety car would certainly add some spice that could help us. I mean, there is still a chance of rain chat. What if they're all on hards because they think it's going to rain and my weather forecasting stuff because our facilities are bad? I mean that we don't know it's going to rain. Okay, we have actually, we have got 70% accuracy. But 30% of the time it's wrong. I'm still sad about Spain. I feel like we have got mega unlucky. <laughs> chat, that Spain race is going to haunt me. For people who weren't here earlier today, we had a chance of getting a podium with Magnussen on a one-stopper. And then a safety car happened and people got three pit stops. Get people out there with an umbrella, true. What's Magnussen's lap times like? I mean, he is going, like, a second and a half faster than Sonoda. I mean, if, if Magnussen makes up half a second every lap, he could... He Looks could. Like that was a position date yeah. for Alfa Romeo. All right, we're going to just remind Pacher, don't fight your teammate when it comes to that, because that is going to happen. All right, K-Mag, have a push, mate. Have a push. DRS... Deploy. Who crashed in Spain? It was Danny Rick or Norris into the other McLaren. The two McLarens crashed into each other and then Danny Rick had to retire from the session. Okay, let him buy, Boucher. Thank you. Thank nice you, Boucher. Nice work. Chair's still got a pit. Bless him. Up the field. Right, now Magnuson needs to get into the DRS range of Bottas. We could still race through here, chat. The, 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 gap, the tricky thing is going to be after Bottas, there's a big gap that we've got to push through. I probably need to say, harvest now whilst we're behind Bottas. Charge on. Go for that. But in DRS range. Yeah, but chair's fucked. Pacher is fucked by the fact we started on hard, so we could we were always gonna have to stop during the race. And if these guys all going long, like there was nothing we could do, sadly. But Magnuson's race could be pretty salvageable. He is running quick on these tires. But we're gonna need to manage them a little bit more than we are currently. But he is he's going two seconds faster than some of these cars. Per lap. Which is actually crazy. Magnuson could could re if we make these tires work i kind of want him just to charge his battery here because we're going to need to have battery i think for the, the upcoming gap after bottas diet coke's coming hey jack just checking in on how my favorite driver mick schumacher's doing he's in formula e he's on a lovely time he he's teaming with uh de costa in formula e he's doing great I'm sorry to say. Sorry to the Mick fans. He's found his level. I shouldn't say that. That's really going to anger the fans. Okay. We are on harvest and we are getting that kind of speed. Chat, we are in a okay spot still with Magnuson now. No, 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 no. I'm not letting him back by. Mode push. Go for that. Do not let do not let him back, Kevin. Typical. Typical. Keep going, Kevin. You've got him here. We are the faster car. Now harvest. I'm gonna have to micro on, Kevin. Kevin here, Cut. chat. Surely he's gonna give Keep this up, job, right? One. Yeah, okay, he had to give it up. He got squeezed out on the wall. Charge on. Go be. Only a chat. This is okay. This is a, this is actually okay. 
Not for Pacher. Pacher's fucked. The Pacher project is on pause, but the Magnuson mission has legs. Yeah, this long strategy by the AI is mad. Take care, but no management required, so push as much as you can. Copy. Yeah, the gap, the gap from P9 is big. Dro to, to Alonso is big. We're probably going to need to use these guys to charge up again once we close this gap. How's the hardware doing? Good question. They have lost 43% in 28 laps. They're actually going to make it work, chat. Or are they? 42%, 28 laps. So on, so on crunch the numbers. <clears throat> chat, crunch the numbers for me. They don't have to pick because they changed tyres. Like, one, well, there's been a crash. This could be a safety car. What happened? What? What face? I think check. that was a crash. Sonoda's crashed. Look at the replay. Now let's look at this. The focus Has he gone in the Sonoda. back of someone here? Oh my word. And there, he could have taken crash. out one of our drivers there. Is there not going to be a safety car for that? Are we not doing safety? Have we disabled the safety car? Have I, have I clicked a second setting that disabled safety cars? It feels like it. Where's Sonoda? Yuki, are you okay, mate? He's fine, chat. He's fine. It was it is but a scratch. He has got no nose. He has lost his nose completely, to be fair. Respect him, chat. He's a grinder. If the if the Do we want a safety car or not? Wait, chat, is it's not rain, it's dirt. It's dirt. It's not rain. I panicked. Push. I want us to deploy Stop to that. get close, then we're going to harvest with DRS. Close the gap. Copy that. We don't want a safety car. Charge safety on. car lets them Stop eke that. out their tyres. Put your, uh, your, your race is run, mate. I'm very sorry. You are absolutely fucked. Like, there's nothing we could do. From the off, it was bad. New fastest lap for KMAG. That might stay the fastest lap because they've all got to manage their tyres. And we don't really want Pacher to get the hot. Wait, Sunoda. Oh, Sunoda's pitted for a nose. I'm just thinking, is the AI changing its mind? Is it realizing that the strategy isn't a good one? Are they going to pit for softs, do you reckon, chat? Do you think they have to? It's going to be very, very close if they all push for it. However, the thing is, none of them are going to have fresh softs. Because the ones who had fresh softs, I think, would have used them at the start. The chair's done. The chair is done. They don't have to pit for softs, but you think that they must do. They'd be 8% of this day. Oh my god, Kevin! How many times have I shouted Kevin's name like a naughty child? I feel like it's been a lot. If they're all going to pit for softs, should we just get the chair in now? No, we should wait. It's ho very home alive. I need a I need a Kevin from Home Alone button, don't I? I need a button that says the line from Home Alone. I might leave Max and deploy for Cover up that. until turn three. See if he can get a few moves. He probably can as well. He's so much quicker. People are saying that they think the AI's got to pit. I think you guys might be right. I'm surprised the fact that, they, that they're that they probably going to have to pit if they do pit, that none of them decided to go medium hard or soft hard. They've all just decided to run right, long. Poor Pucher. Oh, I feel so sad for him. Push, push. We reckon uh, we reckon pit stops around lap 44, chat. It's not made the moves. K-Man can push his hard a little bit. This. Yeah, I'm copy. 
I mean, we're in a position now with Mangsome where he isn't going to need to pit. And if everyone ahead of him pits, he's going to have to defend like a lion. But it, it could happen. We could make it work. Chat, if you have any suggestions for different forms of media where people shout the name Kevin, please like tweet them at me and I will get make a series of Kevin can buttons. The different Kevin shouts that we can do. Pacheco's going to pit here. The end of the lap. Is K Mag ready for another run? Charge on, please. Got it. Can we go for a deploy? We're way closer to this lap than we were last time. Chat, I keep thinking this is rain on the lens. Is it just me or does it look very cloudy? Does it look very cloudy to anyone else? I don't like clouds. Oh, that's a risky move. Up the inside, up the in. Uh, yeah, pit this lap. Did I, I thought he was already pitting. I'll take you out. Sorry, sorry, Pucher. That's one down. Keep it up. Okay, DRS, easy clap. Come on, K-Mag. Right, there. now we need to charge this off Ocon whilst we can. Because we're going to need the full battery if we want to close the gap between He's Ocon and Alonso. k Mag's doing well, chat. I don't like clouds. It looks very cloudy. The dirt's worse on the lens, I swear, than normal. I feel like where Pacheco comes out is kind of irrelevant. Oh, this is stress, chat. This is a really... I'll tell you what, we've had some pretty interesting races for strategies, like where weird stuff's happened. Sometimes it's worked in our favour, sometimes it's not. I mean, Magnussen's got P7 before. You reckon keep Pacheco out in case of rain? Chat, it's not going to rain. Right? It's not going to rain. Imagine if they all know it's going to rain, and that's why they went on to hard. Would that be the saddest thing ever? If the AI knew it was going to rain, so that's why they went on to the hard. And because of my 30% gap in knowledge... The chair's pitting uh, this lap, chat. Don't you fret. Wait. Oh, wait, we're on board with Magnussen here. Ignore. I was well confused. I was like, why is he not gone in? Because we're on board with K-Mag. Okay, we've got battery here. DRS, this is easy clap. This is an easy clap move on these tyres. I feel like our team is literally using the BBC weather app. Kevin, you do, he is doing a brilliant job. Banging drive. I wonder if these guys who have penalties are going to have, like, stop-goes or drive-throughs? I guess if they don't pit again, it'll just get added to their final times. 50% wear after 32 laps. So it's every six laps, they're losing 10%. And there is 18 laps left. They got a pit. They have got a pit. They are in. They'd be running at like, what, seventeen percent? Yeah, they're, they're all pitting. They are all gonna pit. Mode push. Cover that. How's K Mag's tires looking? Okay, they're okay. The margin. Try to increase the pace a little bit. Go for that. Sonoda, oh, Sonoda went on to softs after he fucked his nose. That could be a, a sign of things to come. But he is going to have to manage those for that to work out. But if the AI thinks Sonoda can go on to softs, we're not far away from the softs window, you'd imagine. 
Right, harvest here, Kevin. I'm going to have to manage Kevin quite a lot. The driver ran out of fuel on the last corner. That is a sad moment. Uh, I don't know, Yellow I, I don't edit player potentials or abilities. I'm not sure why that would happen. Motor push. Copy. Who's Pacher racing? Or as we paid him, I've not really paid attention. He's racing Danny Rick. It's a battle for pride. They had a good race at Miami, didn't they, before? Oh, what's the timing difference between ourselves and Alonso? It's a second a lap. Paymag is catching Alonso by a second a lap. Although that is with Deploy. I think we're going to have to try and do it without Deploy for a bit. See what he can do. This is a fast forward moment. Pichier and Danny Rick are just going to have their own little fight. And we'll, we'll enjoy it happening. But in the grand scheme of things, it's not all that important. Magnuson is going quick, chat. 5.4 the gap now. McLaren, gain a position. We are going to have to have tyres that have some life in at the end or we could get absolutely wrecked by them all going on to softs. This is, this is okay. We have got to be careful with Kev, though, because we are making him push. Pass with an overtake there. Pacher's made the move. Pacher's just having a little battle with Danny Rick. We're all for it. That gap is still coming down, chat. That gap is still coming down for Kevin Magnussen on Alonso. Three seconds now. They're still not pitting. They they should be pitting in the next four or five laps if they're going to try softs. Magnus is now two seconds behind. This is without DRS. Okay, it's time to hop on board with Kevin Magnus and try and get him up now. Push. Leclerc just got fastest lap. Maybe they've decided to push. They could be pushing on like last legs now. Yeah, their laps. They've they've all realised. I think that they can't make these tyres last. Right? They have got. They. I feel like that's gone down way quicker. All oh, the teams have told their drivers enough conserving. We're not going to make it. You've got to push. Certainly, what it looks like. I just don't want to overtake Alonso here. We're going to get him in the braking, I think, here. We thought about it. Charge on. Copy that. Kind of want to just sit behind now for a bit and just charge the battery a little bit, maybe for a lap. Certainly until the end of the... Uh, the end. Oh, he's actually going for it, Kevin. What are you doing? Kevin, we need the battery. I'm going to need this battery charge for potentially defending when they all pit. That's why I'm charging it now, chat. And if we overtake, well, at least we're still charged. The chairs... Is Danny... Oh, Danny Rick... Wait, did people pit, chat? No, Danny Rick has dropped off the pace massively. Magnuson's in a good spot. Oh, I've been saying that for a long time, this race. This might end up working out, because they've all tried to go long, and I think they're realising they're going to have to pit. Yeah, they're, they're burning. They're through their tyres quicker now. The question is going to be, how good is Kevin at defending... Um, Mode push. Right, that. We'll just put him on neutral for this. I think he should be able to get it done without being push it, uh, on overtake or deploy. Yeah, they're not making it to the end here, are they? DRS, this should be ours. Even in neutral. 
Kevin Manderson started ninth, by the way. That works. Okay. And the only thing now is, with Magnuson's position, if everyone pits nice for work. softs, would I be wise to pit the softs with Magnuson? That's a, that's that a point. A new race position for Haas? The thing is, our tyres have the life right. There's only 11 laps left. There's not that many laps left now. The chair is making moves as well. What's the gap to Russell? Three and a half. They ain't pitting. They've got to be pitting, right? You can't push. My headset's beep for low battery chat. Am I doing a battery swap mid-race? I might have to do a headset battery swap, swap mid-race. The drama. Right, chat, you're in charge. Battery swap. For the, uh, the pressure. Don't time me, chat. Don't treat it like an actual pit stop. Box, 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 box. I've got the battery. Keep this approach. Good job so far. Got the new battery? Chat, don't tie me. This is slower than a wing change. With an overtake. But Chat got Vel, let's go. Oh, I've used all his battery. No overtake. Oops. He'll be, he'll be fine. Good vibes only here. Just harvest. Charge on, charge on. They're pitting, right, Chat? They have to be pitting. But why are they not pitting now? Surely the softs can do 10 laps. Surely the softs can do 10 laps. I'm so confused. They must pit this lap. They've all got one pit stop because they pitted technically under the reds when they changed tyres. That was a good pass as well on the back marker. If they don't pit, they are in trouble. Yeah, we are catching fast here. Wow. I kind of want to, after this sector, I kind of want to go into deploy on Magnuson. They don't need to pit again, but they're going to have to. Well, if they don't, their tyres are fucked. Push. Are they still Copy. not pitting? They've not pit again. Right, K Mag. Bit of pushing. 0.7 that lap. We haven't got DRS. How quick are we going here? Go like 0.7 quicker than. Maybe guys. Wow. Okay, it's like 1.5 seconds when we push. That is monstrous. There's no way they're not pitting. There could be some double stacking in the in the pit. Actually, no, there's enough gaps. I was wondering if the, the red the Red Bull Ferrari pit stops could be a, a, a mess. But chairs tires are on course. I want Madison to catch this lot, but now we harvest. Charge on. Cover that. If you've got some margin, try to increase the pace a little bit. Cover that. We're in a really good spot suddenly. And I've been saying that for a while. I'm still on harvest with K-Mag here. And he's still just catching them. All right, can we get into DRS range? It's going to be clutch tight. Cover that. We are going to be in DRS range. Holy crap! Okay, okay, so we can start to close the gap. Copy. Theo's tires, I think, are okay. Yeah, they're good. People are still. They're still not. Uh, chat. They are still not pitting. Why are they not pitting? This could be weird. You reckon they pit this lap? If they don't pit this lap, chat, 
They could be madness. We pray for bad AI. Rage. Pray for the bad AI, chat. Come on, Kev. You got me. Now we harvest. Charge on. Go for that. Good job, Kev. They are playing with fire. Yes, they're, they're, they've got a pit. I mean, suddenly P6 is on. We should probably watch ours a little bit. This is okay. Yeah, if there's a safety car now, this whole... All this drama pays off for nothing. See, I think we can pass Russell here, even conserving. With the, without the battery. I mean, that's how quick we are right now. Chat, they've still not pitted. Oh, wait, no. They're about to now. No, they've still not pit. They're quite far up the road. They're, the issue here is all it takes is one of the cars doing badly to pit. And all of this comes crumbling down very, very quickly. We'll, get, we'll go into overtake um, after turn two. A VSC wouldn't be as bad. A full safety car is bad, bad, bad for us. Kevin, don't be the one to make the safety car happen. Mode push. You reckon they're not going to pit now, chat? Chat, they've got to pit. This is madness. How much is... Their lap times are going to be going... To, I mean, their lap times are still pretty good. Okay, good job, Kev. That's one. I, I feel like the red flag on turn one has done some weird stuff to the AI. I can't imagine this is a scenario that ever comes up in testing. If the front five hit a cliff, chat, we could it, it could happen. It probably won't happen because there's seven laps. Well, there's seven laps. I realise I'm still in deploy when I shouldn't be. Oops. Charge on, please. Copy that. How's K-Mag's tyres? Ah, they are getting... We've been pushing quite hard with him. They're both... Hmm, I think we can stay on aggressive. We can always ease off if we need to. Okay, Kev, no management required, so push... He's already two down. seconds ahead of Copy. Russell. Mode push. Copy. If they pit, well, then we'll conserve. I mean, Pachette. Poor Pachette. How are you getting yeah, on, okay, mate? I thought, are you still here? He's still here. Good, good news, everyone. He's still getting his driving experience. He actually has made a nice gap over Vettel. Chat, their tyres are at 25%. There's still six laps left. This makes no sense. I, how's Bacher's lap times been? I mean, he's still... He's lapping two seconds quicker than the guys ahead of him. He's going to have to push on pretty hard here. I can't really make him go more, go more aggressive. He might have a go at some guys to end the race. I think we might see punctures here. We could see multiple punches. They're all playing each other. They're all. No one wants to be the first to pit. No one suspects Kevin Magnussen. No one su uh, su uh, suspects K Mag. Chat. This could still go absolutely mental. This is real life chicken. That is a good way of describing it. It's, it's like a game of Pop Goes the Weasel. <laughs> what if we get 17 DNFs?
Kevin's tires are still really good. I did burn for all his battery. I'm going to harvest. It's going to slow us down for a lap. In fact, we'll harvest whilst attacking. Chat, remind me after two laps. I mean, we'll watch it like this. They've got a pit. Surely some of them are going to go, we can't make this. Is Leclerc going to pit? No, they're still going. Uh, we've got to be a bit careful. We can definitely get Hamilton, I think. Five seconds. We're conserving, though. Now we're in neutral. We got a DRS off Albon there. Thank you, Mr. Albon. Chat, can we all just say thank you to Alexander Albon there? Pucher has closed town on Tzwo as well. This is still very, very doable. One push, one push. Chat, chat, this could get, this could be mad still. This still could be a madness. This still could be a madness. We had a first turn red flag for people arriving in now. And as a result of that, the AI put everyone onto hearts. We didn't go onto the hearts. But yeah, don't crash. We don't want to save. A safety car for us now is disastrous. Hamilton's only two seconds. Chat. He could win it. He could win it. He could win it. Could he? Could he? I mean, 20% is the danger zone of punches. This could be Silverstone 2020. Could the winner finish the race with a puncture? The thing is, this is a long track. If you get a puncture, it is a long way home. The worst case scenario for us now is a puncture happens and they all pit under a safety car. But then we could finish first under the safety car. Pass with an overtake. But Chair's just got Joe, by the way. Uh, we'll keep it on neutral, I think, for now. This is a crazy race, folks. Could Pucher get top 10? Could it happen? I'll tell you what, it's not impossible. There are 19%! Harvest here, okay, Mag. What well, happened with the red flag? There was an incident involving Danny Rick and Vettel, which is why they've got these penalties, and it blocked the track for the, la the back half of the grid. So there was a red flag after two turns. This is not an overtaking spot. They're pitting! They are pitting! Chat, they are pitting! Come on, Kev, you can do this. Have they got Go punches? They're going on to mediums. We're too far behind to make the most of that. But there is punctures happening. Is, the, is Leclerc at risk of a puncture? I don't know if they... Maybe they didn't put them both in because of the risk of a double stack. No push. Copy that. Go, Kevin. Go, Kevin. Go, Kevin. I'm a bit concerned that he didn't get past there. We'll get him on this next straight. Easy clap. Come on, Kevin! Mega job, mate. Verstappen didn't have any softs to go on to. Pass with an overtake there. S signs has paired. Perez hasn't. Perez is 20 seconds up the road. That might still be doable. Good job. I mean, they're going to go fast now. Yeah, they are going to take our fastest lap. But no one behind us has pitted. Pucher's tyres are a lot closer. I need to get him in range. So Bottas is... Oh, this is a car being lapped. We're still a long way off. We could do with punctures. 
elsewhere. What happened to Mick? We don't talk about it. Did they pit the other... They've not pitted the other cars. I wonder if those two got punctures and the other two didn't. On you go, K-Mag. On you go, son. Load push. Chat, I think we've done everything that we can. Two laps left. Probably should be a little bit careful here. Signs is going quick now on these softs, but that was going to happen. Pacheco Ocon, nice. Push. Now we need Bottas yeah, to get a puncture. I don't need info about ERS. I don't need to know about ERS strategies. Leave me alone. Get rid of the info. Charge on. Cover that. Uh, K-Mag's good right here. Signs is 16 seconds up the road. I'm looking at Perez and thinking, puncture, please. I think Teo's the one to ride on with here, isn't he? He's got to make up four seconds on Bottas in a lap and a half. Might as well give it full beans. He's only got Thanks points to push lose. Now. Big push now. Alright, Pachef. 3.2. He's on the hunt, chat. He is on the hunt. No push. Copy. Yeah, who is that lap car ahead? I don't think we're going to be Kevin, close enough. Margin. Try to increase the pace a little bit. Go for that. They're all fighting on turn one. I mean, it's per what's, per what's the percentage out? 15! 15! Are you playing with fire, son? He's doing 150s. Get DRS here, right? Did we get it? Oh, we didn't quite get it. I mean, we're not really chasing anyone now. I guess we're chasing Perez, but he's 14 seconds up the road. This is last lap. Could Pacher get points, chat? He's used up all his battery. Please get out of the way. Thank you. Pacher, deploy. Botter. <laughs> Look at this. There is still a, a world in which the cliff face happens for these guys. Is that Kevin. race or is there still one more chat? This Roger. is like coming to the finish line, right? Come on, Kev, keep pushing. Got the me. chair just got Bottas. Let's go. Oh please! Is that a, wait? That's Alonso in ninth. That's Alonso in ninth. That's Leclerc. Charles Leclerc is today's okay, winner. Okay, chat. K K Mag, by the way, still got the fastest lap. Right, come on, Pacher. He's in the danger zone with his tyres. We'll go aggressive still. I don't think there's any charge left to get in this battery. Did they steal it? Oh. Checkered flag. That's sad. Magnus and P5's mad. Could we do it, Pacher? Everything you've got, Teo. Oh, Everything you've got, Teo. This is a long run, folks. This is a long run to the straight. He's going to have DRS for it. Come on, Teo. I don't think you can get it. Ah, oh, the lack of battery at the end killed us. That is massive still. Still massive. P10, P5. We take that all day, every day. Almost a line. 
That is, that is decent, considering the red flags. We'll take that, folks. Double points. Fifth is massive as well. P5. We don't really talk about the P5 in all of that. Ah, a big shift. Kevin Magnussen's overtakes on the mediums that enabled us to get that stop in. Massive. Yeah, we beat both Mercs there. Look at the tire life at the end. I'll tell you what, they did make that one stop work, to be fair. The AI, for as much as we kind of joke about it, because they all were on it, it didn't actually end up negatively impacting too many of them. Kevin Magnuson, oh, us how it's done. A great that was result. stress. Well, 30% is like the performance barrier, right? Because we were catching them by like two seconds a lap there. Lovely, lovely view of the underside of Baku. If you ever dig a hole in Baku, this is what it'll look like. This is a good result for us. Uh, Son Tailist. Son Tailist? Son Tailsick. Why can I not read? I mean, it is, it is 1 a.m. That's my excuse. And they're in sixth place in the constructor standings. Thank you for subbing. Sorry I'm used with your name. I'll do better next month. I promise. We're in Canada next. Chat, that was a mad race for us. Cher made up six spots. Magnuson made up four. I think at the restart, we were in 10th and 17th. I think you're right. Yeah, Jimmy, I think it was 10th and 17th. Lionheart343, thank you for subbing with the Prime as well. Oh. Yeah, chat, if you've stayed up to watch that, I hope that was worth it. That was a mad race for us. Ten points is huge, though, for the championship and the constructors. That gives us a bit of re breathing room over Alpha Tauri, which is nice. Oh, K-Mag's up to ninth as well. Uh, do I have one more race in me? Do I have one more race in me? Also, look at the gain. Look at the gain, chat. I think we have one more race in us. I might nip to the loo, chat, I'll be honest. That was too stressful for me. I'm an old man. The bladder the bladder was hurting by the end. You were all focusing on the battle on track. I, I, I mean, I say that. I'm still saying that, right? K-Mag, get better at defending. That is true, Ollie. I was up later in Amsterdam. Amsterdam, on oh my word. It, it was late nights at TwitchCon. Right, chat. I'm going to go BRB. We are going to do Canada when I'm back. I've seen some mad incidents at Canada. So uh, don't go anywhere. Have some ideas for predictions. And whilst I'm BRB, write to yourself. Pazarud, thank you for subbing with the tier one as well. You are a madman. I appreciate it. Chat, say... Wait, is the chat broken? Chat, you can't see yourself. I'm so sorry. Why is that not working? That was working. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. No, it's working. It's working. It's caught up. Chat, say hello to yourselves. Um, I'm going to go grab a drink. Nip to the loo. Decompress after that stress. We'll be back with Canada in a mo.
good news chat. I didn't I didn't fall asleep. So uh, pos positives. Didn't fall asleep. We're back. For Canada, what, how are the upgrades coming along? It feels like we've been waiting for these current projects for ages. Two days away. Two days and we get some upgrades. Happy days. I've not done Canada yet. I In my Mercedes Let's Play... Oh, I say Mercedes Let's Play. So not everything's a Let's Play, it turns out. In my Mercedes playthrough that I did, um, I got as far as this race and then I didn't go any further. So we are we are entering uncharted territory. Oh, yeah, we used a new gearbox. I feel like power's still pretty useful for Canada. Right, this is going to be tough. So, constructors right now, we're in six. 26 points. First time we've had some breathing room, which is nice. Performance targets chat. I reckon we can get some to Q3. Has the P5 gone to my head? Probably. I'm going to gamble on it. Race targets. We're not getting fastest lap. If we get, I tell you what, what a streak of finishing positions. That would be useful if we could pull that off. Is there F2 in the game? There isn't. So there's F2 and F3 drivers, but I don't even, I don't even think the actual series are simulated or anything. Oh yeah, chat. We have to pay out on the prediction. What was the prediction? That was a long time ago. Will Mag get four, four, uh, eight, four higher? I'll tell you what. Choose outcome. Yeah, he will get eight higher. He'll get fifth. How do you like those bananas? And the only drama on the tracks we want to see is the best drivers in the world battling it out for a place oh, on that podium. That was an unreal race at Baku. It was interesting the AI tried to make the hards work. Oh, chat. Who wants a, 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 a drizzly qualifying? That, I said that very weirdly. Let's never talk about it. Maybe that's what we have to refer to wet qualifiers as. Who wants a dr drizzly qualifying? It's raining, man. Hallelujah, etc. I never really understood finished, that song as a little kid when it would come on at like you know qualify. discos and family gets together some weddings. Will be taking the data they've gathered from free practice into qualifying today. And then I understood when I was old enough. I just thought, why would humans want to rain from the sky? Like, what, is this a story like, about someone, something that someone experienced? Yeah, actually, chat. I should ask because the game, obviously, game is out today. Um, how how have people felt? Like, how have people's first experiences been with the game? In terms of, you know, I mean, I assume if you're up now, you're either in Europe pulling an all nighter and you've booked tomorrow off work, or you're in the USA and you've probably got home from work, or you're in Australia and you've woken up and you you've got the day off work. I suppose. I think my general review of the game is it's not perfect. And there's definitely stuff that irks me and that I want to see improved. But, like, it's fun and the foundation is really good. How many people have got COVID tomorrow for work? Chat, your secrets are safe with me. Your bosses probably don't check these chats. Unless they do. In which case, you, you would be f***. So maybe don't answer that question. Ready to check, Kevin. Video is good. Okay. We actually had good... Part knowledge as well, I noticed, for this. Which is nice. I don't know, why would it not let me put on these softs? It did this before. So if you have a situation where, like, you can't confirm a certain thing, it's either because you've not changed it, or you can go to run, plan, and add and remove a lap. I realized I didn't even need to change per chair. We should have just sent him out. I am still going poorly draw on Arsenal. If you have actually got COVID, you have my sympathies. I had it a few weeks ago, and it is not fun. Wait, everyone's going out early. Oh, because of the rain. Everyone's got to get a good lap in now. I forgot about the pissing rain. Oh, chat, these first laps are going to count for something. Whatever laps you do here are going to be important. Bloody hell. This is... This is... I forgot about the rain. Am I a goldfish? Possibly, to be honest. The rain is coming. Moderate rain in four minutes. This is going to be tight, chat. There might be rain falling as we go for our last laps. Why are these lot all not going out? Are they about to get absolutely shafted? Unless they go out now and block Magnuson. Which 
Okay, Hamilton's out. Hamilton is the Mercedes out. Okay, well, Magnussen's in a good spot if no one comes out the pit lane, which I think he's going to get lucky. Chat, there's going to be no traffic. Chat, there's going to be no traffic for Magnussen's lap. This could be very good. I feel like Canada typically has fun race weekends. How's Teo looking? He's not been blocked. We're good. We are good. Chat, this is okay. Magnuson might even end up holding up Hamilton. I could the track dry at the end. I mean, this is the water level here, chat. If you don't, if you've not played the game yet, so this is like the wetness level of the track. And then it tells you here. So if it's zero to one millimeter, then the drier compounds are faster. One to four, it's the inters four or more. And it also tells you here how wet it is. I think we might have done well to get these guys out early. But we only have 70% accuracy, so it could be a complete lie. 85% chance of rain in two minutes. Anyone going out now, looking at that alpha, is going to be in trouble. Okay, we've got times in. That's good. I'm happy. There could be some shocks here. Unless other teams' weather kind of forecasts are just better than ours. It's still not raining. Chat, it's still not raining. Can it Can it please, chat? It's died to rain. It's raining. Should we watch Verstappen do a lap here? Has Verstappen gone out on soft? He has. He's on his out lap, right? Chat, should we hop on board with Verstappen and see how he deals with the rain? It's into the inter zone already. I forget how long this last bit is of the lap. This is two mil. He's in trouble. What's my favourite track? Someone's going to end up hitting that wall. Someone is hitting that wall. Um, what is my favourite track? I might be the only person in the world who says this. No, actually, I won't be. I, I really like uh, Singapore... Oh my god, he's it's too wet. It's too wet. It's too wet. He's tiptoeing around. This is his flying lap. He's fucked it. Chat, we might have a massive shake shaking up grid here, because according to my weather forecast, we're at two millimeters of track water now. It's not gonna be below this for the rest of the session. He is tiptoeing around. He is tiptoeing, folks. There's so little spray because the softs don't clear the water. The only issue is that all the cars here... I mean, the thing is... Is anyone going out now? Uh, everyone else is going out now on inters, and the track's only going to get wetter for people who are on the softs already. The Stapper might go out this session. Verstappen might go out this session. He is... I mean, this is a nothing time. He might go straight into the pits. We could see... Chat, Latifi is probably in Q2. You can see the track water level there. It's not drying out. It ain't drying. He's going to finish the lap to bank him. I don't think there's any point in banking it when everyone else is already out on mediums. Uh, not mediums, sorry. Inters. I don't think we're going to be going out again this session, I'll be honest. I think we've set the best time we could. <laughs> it, I'll be honest, not not looking... I mean, there's no point in even configuring, is there? Right, we'll, we'll, put the, we'll put the softs on that we've already used, but we're not going to be going out again unless it's dry. And it is not going to dry. They're in danger. We are good. We are good. We can chill here. It is drying a little bit. But it's going to have to dry a lot for the softs to work. And I don't think it's going to drop fast enough.
They're not going to go faster on the Inters versus what we did before it rained, are they? Do I just send them out? One millimetre or less is like dry compounds. But I don't think it's going to work. I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to gamble. I don't think I need to send them out here. You can see the times. The times are, are, are fucked. It's not dropping into... The, it is in that dry zone again now, but I think it's too late. I'm going to sit out. It's raining again. It's raining again. We've made the right call here. We're good. They might not even make it around because of the rain. I assume they all went out. Oh, okay. They've all gone out on inters. Yeah, there's no point. We're fine. Could be both Red Bulls out here, by the way, chat. And it stopped raining again. Is it dry or is it wet? No one knows. Imagine if we go out from here. That would be quite something. But it's not going to happen. The track's too wet. Right? The track is too wet. People are going to set times here because the, the people down here set times on inters. Bad news to anyone who wanted to see Red Bull go out. They made a quicker lap there on the inters at the end. They were still behind us. Four and five. Get a screenshot. Why couldn't that be the last qualifying session? Who went out? Good to see an Alpha Tauri go out. Pierre Gasly's our big rival now. Uh, second session. See what the rain's like. Do we want more rain or less rain? My forecast doesn't think it's going to rain this session, but do I trust? Do I trust our uh, weather people? Ready to check, Kevin. No, I'm going to get them out. Radio is good. Let's get a time set early, just in case. So, George in here too, mate. Thank you for something with the Prime. Also, Rem Coco, you redeemed a hydrate. I've been passively hydrating, so apologies, because I did miss that, but I'll hydrate now in your name. Thing is, all the track that was rubbered in is now not rubbered in because of the rain. Have you got 100% set up confidence yet? I haven't. I don't bother with practice sessions. Like, please don't boo me. Please, please, please don't boo me. Please, no traffic. Please, no traffic. Okay, Leclerc's fine. Okay, we should be okay. I don't think we're going to catch Leclerc on these laps. Or maybe we will. Okay, on that straight, it should have been okay. I'm sure half a second behind, maybe he did get blocked by Leclerc then. Still good to get a banker in. Especially with this weather, but it, the way it's looking, I don't think it's going to have been necessary. Uh, fresh softs? Yeah, fresh softs. I probably should have used the used softs before. You thought there was no contractual obligation to hydrate. To be fair, before we had a cooldown on that command, I nearly drowned myself as chat redeemed hydrate after hydrate. Okay, Magnuson's in an okay spot. Pacher has got to go better, but I'm going to blame it on the fact I think he was probably blocked. I think we go late here in this session. Still faster than the Latifi. The fact that Latifi made it through the session means we'll probably not start 15th. Uh, there is a way to skip practice sessions, but I and it's like an option when you go into the first practice session. You can just put a button that says, like, skip to qualifying. Okay, we managed to get Pacher out. Magnuson's still stuck in because we're in a really bad spot in the grid where we have to let people... Uh, well, in the pits where we have to let people out. At least Pacher's going to have clear air to run in because he's not going to get... He's not going to catch signs. Yeah, laps are, laps are short here. I think we timed Pacher's stop hit well here, actually. Looks like signs. Is signs getting blocked by... Is it Danny Rick? No, it's not Rick. It's Norris. 
Science has struggled there, hasn't he? Size Leclerc. I wonder if there must have been some blocking involved there. Wouldn't, wouldn't mind Lando doing something here that fucks up these two. Magnussen's going to cross the line. Good. Kind of a shame we didn't get any rain. I feel like rain is so that we can capitalise on. Yeah, I wonder if you do move pit position based on previous seasons. Because that's what it's done on, right? If I'm not mistaken, the pit position that you have is based on where you finished in the World Championships the year before. How are we looking? Bacher went didn't go green in sector two. That's not good. In fact, did he make a mistake? He is really off the pace. Don't fail me. Rain in one minute, chat. Can Pacher improve? No, I don't think so. No, he did improve, but not by enough. Right, can Magnuson make it through? Chat, the rain is coming. In a minute. I think we're going to be okay with okay, K-Mag. I hope I'm right here. I'm going to look like an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Chia is a disaster. It was so good before. There was rain next session. We could have capitalised. Big Sag, big Sag. Was it that? Was that? A, was that Latifi in front of him? As race day begins. Chat. Was that Latifi? I think that was Latifi, wasn't it? Was it Latifi again? That's happened twice. We should have known. No rain predicted. Uh, it looks like it's going to be dry. It's soft hards, boring. I we'll go medium hards. Not softs. I think medium hards. <sighs> Might need to sign Latifi so he doesn't block me. Maybe that's the plan. Maybe we just sign Latifi as our reserve driver. I kind of want to get aggressive with someone. Maybe we go softs, hards with K-Mag. Requires a bit more management. I fancy K-Mag to get aggressive. What was Monaco like? Uh, there was no safety cars. We got blocked by Latifi in qualifying, just like we did there. And we, it, we didn't finish in the points. We didn't score the points. It was very much like real life. It was very realistic. Baku, by comparison to Baku, it was not as good. The Chat, I didn't update, the, I didn't update their styles, did I? I've got to pause the game day. immediately. This is it. We're Maybe I'm just an idiot. But given how important they are, I feel like when you go and to race, out, if you've not touched them, sorry to pause the game, this stuff should just be, like, stuck in your face. Because you always want to have that stuff just at the start, I feel like. Or maybe you don't. Maybe maybe not everyone turns everything up at the start. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Latifi, don't do anything stupid. Magnuson P12, Pacher. Behind. The McLarens, we seem to race the McLarens at some tracks. And then there's other tracks where we seem to just about be able to hang with Alpine and Gasly. Yeah, Monaco was really boring to race at, which I guess is realistic. Hey, K-Mag, doing K-Mag things. What did people start on? Okay. So there are some people running soft hards. Okay, nice work. 
So K Mag needs to make some moves, really. If we could clear the Alpines, that would be big. Is Pacher going to have a go? He's on mediums. Oh my word, there was a bit of a coming together there, it looked like. Deploy on the straight. Into the next lap, I think. How do you change the gearbox? It's in the parts warehouse bit under the car section. Push. Hello, hello. Round the outside of this first turn and then have the inside line for the next bit. I fancy it. I fancy it. We'll do it. Fair enough. Big. Magnuson has been really good racing wise, one. chat. Has he cleared him? He has cleared him. Massive Pacher. Both McLarens cleared. Hey, Hawk, how are we doing? We are Pog Champion. This is a very Pog Champ kind of race right now. Official terminology. Okay, Mag Deploy. Can he get in the inside? He can. Hang it around the outside. He can. Let's go. Okay, this strategy is working really, really well for us right now. Nice work, Kev. Hamilton next, question mark. Let's go for it, why not? I'm getting carried away. Mode push. Okay, man, can you make something happen here? It's going to be difficult to catch the Mercedes. I'll tell you what, let's harvest for Jump next off. lap with DRS. And if we could break the toe of Alonso, that would be kind of nice. DRS enabled. There's a few other cars on softs. Gasly and Russell are on softs. So is Perez. So it's not a mad strategy that we're going for with Magnus, and that's not sustainable. Uh, did Pacher get cleared by Ocon? Wait, no. Were we always behind the Alpines with Pacher? It's early morning, chat. I've lost track of what we were doing with each driver. Will these shoots go on YouTube? Probably. The first one is on YouTube. It's currently processing the editing of it, removing the intro bit. Hey, Lazy Turtle, how's it going? How was Quali? We um, made it through the first Quali session. Rain impacted it quite a lot, but that made it a bit easier for us. But in the next section, we got blocked pretty badly with K-Mag. Rain didn't come. We thought might come. It was a bit sad. Copy. I feel like we have a pretty good car in the like in racing conditions. The actual race pace is very good. There's lots of racing going on ahead. We could see an incident here. I've seen a lot of people in Canada in game have like crashes and stuff. So I'm hopeful, chat, that we could see safety cars here. I don't want to give anyone too much hope, but I want to believe it could happen. And lift off. Oh, it went hard to start. I always feel like I, we should split our strategies here. I don't think there's been a race yet. Where we, has there been a race yet where we've done the same strategies on both cars? I just feel like when you're a team that are kind of, you know, you're targeting kind of ninth or 10th, the best approach is always just to try and get one of the cars into the top 10 by doing two different plans. But if you're the fastest team, of course, you want to be optimizing each and every thing to get as high as possible. Mode push. Copy that. Yeah, Gasly's creating a train here. DRS here. The thing is, Lewis also has DRS, but we might be able to get him on the outside. There's a risk here, though. If we try and go into this chicane alongside Lewis, it's going to end badly. Yeah, I was going to say, that's not going to work. Do they make contact there? Yeah, there is a ghastly train. All aboard the ghastly train chat. Oh, in Spain. Yeah, that's a point actually. In Spain, I tried to do the two one stoppers and then we got we got messed up. Who spun? Who has spun? Oh, one of the Mercedes. Uh, not Mercedes, sorry, McLaren's, I think. Did somebody spin out? Danny Rick spinning Let's out in turn one. 
Now look at this. Daniel Ricardo involved. What happened? Oh, Nor Norris hit him. Oh, Norris hit it. Danny Rick Ricardo. did nothing wrong. Tell you what, there was nearly a block on track there that could have caused a red f flag. Today. Or at least a safety car. Okay, Peugeot's in a good spot. Because we're in traffic, we can just keep pushing. The fuel delta seems to be based on the previous lap. So if you ever have a spin, or like something that causes the drives to lift, it seems to fluctuate quite a lot. Yeah, Gasly's very good in real life, Lazy Turtle. I think most people would say so that Pierre yeah, Gasly's like the kind of driver that if he didn't end up with a drive after his time at Alpha Tauri, it'd be a pretty big shame. I think he's quite marketable as well. I really want to clear Lewis, but the thing is, we're only going to be stuck in this train for even longer. Hmm. Maybe whilst we're in this train, we should just conserve. Charge on, please. Got this train is going to get longer and longer, chat. It's already pretty long, isn't it? <laughs> charge on, charge on. What's my dream driver pairing? I want to bring back the old days of Renault. Get me Nico Hulkenberg and Danny Rick. Someone else has spun. Who is it this time? Is he like, was it Danny Rick again? A chat. I think Danny Rick spun again. It like we've had a oh no, it's, it was Lance Stroll. So this was the Aston Martin. Is there oil on the track there? And that spin is undoubtedly going to cost them time. Okay. We probably have to stay in neutral if we want to keep up. I can't really save to keep up with the others. Mode race. Can we try to deploy here? I want to see someone crash into the wall of champions. That's what I really, really want to see. I'm waiting for it. Not this lap. Not maybe next lap, chat. Mercedes going too wide. Has there been any red flags? We had a red flag last race, Calgore, on the first turn. Which team do I recommend for a first career? Um, I'd recommend probably Mercedes. They have the third fastest car by a pretty decent margin. And the expectation for the first year is third. So it's quite forgiving in that regard. Um, unfortunately, you can't change the qualifying, McKay George. Do I try and get Pacher past these Alpines or are we happy following them? The thing is, they're on the same strap. Getting oh, do I deploy here? I'm going to try deploy. We're going to go for it. We're going to try. Do you get involved in FIA rule meetings? We had something where we could vote on some tech regulation. Uh, yeah, some of the tech regs for next season. Mm. If I'm in Harvest, we don't keep up with the Mercedes. But without ch harvesting, I don't think we're going to have the pace to catch. We already had two spin outs, though, in eight laps. Is the stream save going to be a long one or just one season? I think we'll be doing a few seasons of this. I think winning the World Championship with um, Haas would be a pretty fun goal. Mindful on Kevin's strategy, it's a lot more marginal than Pacher. Should we give him one lap, chat? Let's give him one lap to go for it. Load push. Cover that. Uh, you can't transfer teams within a save game, DCG Gamer, which I would love to see. I'm a bit sad it's not in the game myself. It's not like a showstopper. 
Mercedes is too quick. When it's got DRS from the cars in front, it's difficult. But there might be a chance here. We've got a better line out. We got the line here. We got the line here. Do not give do not give him space. Less of that. We don't play nice here at Haas. We're nasty. Job, We're a mean team. There's more racing going on ahead. Bloody hell. Hamilton's just lost a spot to Ocon. Wow. That shakes things up a little bit. Who went... Wait, who went off there? Hamilton's just spun off. Hamilton... Did Hamilton just spin off? I think, I think we've just seen Hamilton go. He was struggling with his tyres there. He had an incident. Oh, he just lost the back end between the Alpines. I mean, that is useful for us. I'll say that. You know, I don't, don't wish well, don't wish ill on people, but that does actually work out quite nicely for us. Come on, Kev, let's pressure him. Go right. But yeah, what can you do, Teo? You got DRS. Still on harvest here. I think we need to be. We might lose ground on the straight up, but I think we make it up in the first two turns of the lap. P10. P10. Let's go, Pache. You got the move on Ocon done there, chat. Pass with an overtake there. Yeah, I agree. I think that's what I'd say, Tell it grows. It's like a really strong foundation, this game. Like, it's not perfect. The stuff that I would love to see improved, and the stuff that I hope they can make better, Charles like off. the number of retirements, I think the number of uh, safety cars. I do think there's a balancing act as well, right? Because in some ways, I'd rather that we have the situation we have now where there's not enough retirements rather than a situation where there's too many and it's game-breakingly bad. Like, it's kind of like less is better. Less is the lesser evil of the two. Which isn't really justification for it being how it is. Why do they say P10 and not 10th? Because it's position 10. P10, 10th. I don't know. P10, P10's a bit more clear. I guess. There's probably some technical reason that someone in the chat will be able to tell you that I have no idea about. No push. So we're in a train of soft cars now with Bottas in the middle who has actually been swallowed up because he got caught up here. Is it just P10 sounds cooler? I want there to be some cool backstory about how someone misheard like it when it was said 10th. Push hard now. I guess P10, it sounds like present tense. If, it, if you're tenth, does it sound past tense? I don't know. You're doing a good job. Is that a new race position? Madison just got Russell. I didn't even notice. When did that Here's happen? Was that into the chicane? Oh, it was way earlier in the lap. I didn't even realise. He tried to make a move on Gasly and pulls it up. Big! Bottas is on mediums in front. We should be quicker than him. The big thing now is can we clear the Alpha Tauri, to be honest? Because if we can clear the Alpha Tauri, in fact, both of these cars would be good to clear. I think we push this here. We're going to not have battery for then holding the place. Go attack as well. So we can try and carry pace onto the chicane. Uh, through the chicane into the uh, start finish line. Save fuel. This is all okay. This is all okay. This could be where we make a move. Although, is the Alpha going to block us? Oh, that is. In real life, you are in the. You are taking out the Alpha by cutting the curb like that, but I'm glad the game's not realistic. You know what, chat, I take it all back. Realism would be terrible. We'd be in the wall right now. Sexiest F1 driver, Fernando Alonso. Right, we're going to try and save some battery, I think, for a big push with both drivers, because this train is still a thing. Charge on, charge 
There's a risk we get dropped in. The hot river harvest on on the straight, but I think we'll be okay. Once we enter the, the straight with DRS, we'll be good. I'm kind of surprised they don't like have some markings for DRS, like for people, like so people who don't watch F1 a lot, like can know where the DRS zones are, because it's kind of an important thing to like know, oh, and it's not shown anywhere. More charge off, please. Is it weird that? Am I weird for thinking that's a weird thing to not include? Like in my head, like the DRS zones are so important for strategy. But even if it was just like a setting where you can like tick something, it's like detailed mini map. And it just provides that kind of info because that dictates so much about how what I'm doing here at the moment. Like I know there's, the, I know, so I know there's the DRS thing for when you're in range, right? But just for like actual beginners to know, oh, where is the detection zones? What would be my dream team with any drivers that raced in F1 history? I want Rosberg and Hamilton to have another season together in the same car. I want to watch the world burn. Is that is that an acceptable answer? Charge off. I want to watch friendships be ended on the grid. <laughs> he said any. He didn't say it had to be the best pairing. Now, to be fair, that Rosberg Hamilton season, obviously, it, it wasn't as competitive as. Well, it was competitive to the end because Lewis was trying to back up everyone, right? To get Rosberg overtaken. But another season of that would have been good. What's DRS? The DRS is a drag reduction system. So you see how you can see how there's like a slit in the back of the car in front that's open. There's certain areas of the track where if you're within one second of the car in front, you're able to activate it. And it's basically it opens a flap that allows more air to push through and so reduces drag on the car. So you have a faster straight line straight speed and the sacrifice of downforce. Same car, that'd be a squeeze. Very good humour. I rate it. I reckon F1 should change to be a tandem series, chat. Thoughts? Discuss. I'd really like us to clear Bottas, because I think mean, if we're in clear air, we can go faster than both these guys. Let's find out. We're going to go for it. We saved a little bit of battery. We've got to deploy. We should be able to do them here. Get the Alpha Tauri here, then get the Alpha Romeo when it's not got DRS on the start finish. That might work. That might work. Okay, it is going to work. Now we they don't have DRS here. Tell you what, chat. I might look clueless. I do okay. I do occasionally know what the plan is. Very, very occasionally, I have moments of brilliance where my brain actually works. If you've got some margin, it's, that's a weird thing, right? Because for me personally, be... that move there is super satisfying to pull off. So if you... But there'll be some people who hate that I was able to ma manufacture that because in real life, the team principal wouldn't have that level of control. But I feel like if there wasn't the ability to do stuff like that, the game would be a bit boring. Uh, how do people feel about stuff like that? Because I'm sure there'll be people who won't do what I've just done there in game when they're playing. But for me personally, that's like the most satisfying thing where I feel like I've had a direct impact on like the outcome of something. Mode push. I want to try and break the DRS of Bottas while he's on the mediums here. Who locked up? Sector 1. Must be one of the Red Bulls or one of the Ferraris? Oh, it was Hamilton. Hamilton is, Hamilton is not having now. a good time. Now, I will say, sometimes when it tells you incidents, it doesn't tell you the right They've sectors. They've locked up. He's not had fun there, has he? Hamilton is having a bad race. He is struggling. He normally likes Canada as well. Oh, Bottas is still behind. Take care of it. No management required. I agree though, folks. It's a bit much like how you can influence uh, players in FM more than real life. Yeah. 
I think it is you as the race engineer during the race and the director outside. I guess that makes more sense. Charge on, please. I do. It would be cool if the drivers could say, no, I don't want to do that kind of thing. We might get overtaken here. I need the battery charge. In fact, maybe just sit in neutral now. I feel like without DRS, we're not going to be able to pull away from Bottas, even though he's on the, the mediums. Also, we're burning for our tyres quicker than everyone else through all that pushing. Bottas was quicker than us because of the harvesting, I think. I tried to harvest a little bit, so I had battery for this stre a stretch. Let's have a go on the Alpine. Why not, But yeah, You've sat in traffic for a while. That DRS is strong. Okay, you know what? I don't mind sitting behind him here. Although he's pulling away. He's vanishing up the road with that DRS. For Alfa Romeo. Kev, if you've got some margin, try to increase the pace a little bit. Copy. Yeah, you can say that manager support would be interesting, right? Like how much faith the driver puts in you. Like if you make bad decisions, he won't follow you. We just got done by the alpha, but I need to charge the battery. I think our best bet is just to follow this train of DRS, alpha to be honest. Place. As much as it sucks to have our other driver stuck at the back of it. How many races I didn't start? We did some earlier today. We've done Monaco, then Baku, now we're on this. I feel like three races chat is like a sweet spot for the amount I can play in a session. That should be floor damage. Oh, who is that? If they could crash, that'd be useful, please. No, okay, never mind. That was Russell who's just gone on a mad one. It's a race position gained for Mercedes. This is all very close around everywhere. Is Russell on softs as well? I think Russell is on softs. Russell should be so much faster than everyone around us here. He should be like, probably, well, you'd imagine he should be behind Vet, uh, Verstappen in fifth. That Mercedes is fast. Did they make contact there? There was a lot of sparks. When am I pitting? So we're coming in in probably five or six laps with Magnussen. I probably can let him push a little bit more, to be honest. And Pacher is going to run longer because he's on the mediums. I have been pushing these tyres a little bit more than I'd like. I like kind of conserving them more and running longer as opposed to burning through them too soon. But actually, on the deck graph here, we're pretty much matching what we need to for the strategy, so it's okay. I feel like neutrally RS is just the best here. I feel like if you use deploy, you burn for it and you just don't have it for the straights. And if you use um, harvest, you just get absolutely rinsed by people ch catching you. Find out ERS damage. Uh, uh. Yeah, we are hitting that point in the season where parts might start to wear a little bit. Wait, chat, is it raining? Why does the dirt look like rain? Come on, 13th right now if we paired. Behind Hamilton, wouldn't it be bad? There is a gap to pit into, but the issue is the hards just won't quite last long enough yet. But Bottas is stopping all these guys. I might pit at the start of our window. I might well pit at the start of the window because I think there is going to be a gap there to come out into. Right, this th it'll be in here when we pit. I think it'll be behind. It'll be just behind Hamilton. What's Hamilton running? Hamilton will be running medium, so he might be able to tug us along if we get in DRS range. Bottas is on the medium, so he's holding up everyone at the moment. I 
We're in a weird situation. I mean, we've got both drivers in the points right now. This is actually fun. We're actually having a good weekend, bizarrely. It feels like we've not progressed much because we're just stuck in this train. But the situation we're in now is actually fine. My only concern, really, is actually the, the um, ERS showing where. Because I feel like that's pretty powerful in this game. Perez is just pitted on the softs. Is he going on to hards? Yeah, he's gone on to hards. The guys on the softs have all pitted. Right, we're overcutting then. This is this is the lap to push for the hards, Kevin. This is the lap to push. Right, can we, we come out in a better spot? I'm surprised they've all pitted as early as they have, but I guess we eked it out a little. I need him to clear Bottas. Push as much as you can. Copy. Right, chat. Do we reckon we're going to come out ahead of Russell and Gasly? Do we reckon C possible? That Red Bull's got to heat up its hards quick. No, no believers. The lack of belief hurts. This Red Bull has really messed us up, to be honest. Right, send, 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 send. What's Russell come out in? They ha they have got Lando Norris in front of them. Lando Norris, if you could go nice and slow, that would, that would be doing me a solid. And Pacher is going to follow along. I'll tell you what, I love the directing in this game between cars. Like, it's so nice. Our pit stops are always so slow, aren't they? Where are we going to come out, chat? If they want to race, that would help us a little bit. Where are we coming out? K-Mag is coming out! He's come out ahead! The overcut works! Come on! Just about. That was close. Lano Norris nearly wrecked us, to be honest. Doesn't look like there's rain forecast. But our forecast is only 70% accurate. But I can only work with the info that I'm given. Can we use a lift off a bit? And we need to clear this McLaren. Charge on. I want to clear this McLaren, then I need him to hold up Gasly and Russell. We're right up our chuff. That was very module. I'm surprised they pitted as early as they did for the hards. Well, uh, Norris might pit here. I wish he'd pitted there. I was saying out of hope, chat, not expectation. I feel like if you're on the uh, aggressive style, you can always get them off that chicane. It seems like that's a really kind of standard move. Right, now the question is, is Gasly going to be able to get past Norris quickly? Pass with an overtake. Nice move, Kevin. It's going to be interesting to see what was quicker, the, the soft hard strategy or this strategy of the medium hards, where you were in a few extra laps. We'll be able to push more on the hards with push air. Quite like to get ahead if we can. That's not that's not what I wanted to come back and see. And McLaren with a great overtake. It's so hard to break the DRS, I will say. The DRS seems pretty strong with how evenly matched some of the cars are. We can close on them. Gubby. And the outside. Around the outside, easy. 
that corner is weird in game. I will say that much. The lines that they take don't really make sense. Keep that up. Thing is, we've deployed our battery here, so I think he just is going to get us back. Pass with an overtake there. Um, I'm going to pit. I'm going to pit this lap. I'm going to pit this lap and try and undercut Alonso and Bottas. And that is the play. On the setup for, uh, for practice, have you got to keep the lines in the middle? Uh, no, you want to get the line. It, it depends on the track. You want to get the lines into a sweet spot. But you want to keep it within the coloured zones. If that makes sense. How's K Mag doing? He's got back ahead of Norris. What's Gasly? Uh, Norris's time. Okay, K Mag's broken the DRS. That's big. I think one more push here. Take care of it. No management required. Just Copy here. That. I think I don't really want him to burn the whole battery. No, Copy that. Oh, he's already used it this lap, I think. So he's already used his limit. What's my best result so far? We got P5 at Baku. Which I think was pretty decent. Okay, yeah. Norris is point three behind Pusher. Where's you coming out? So if Pacher could come out, a good spot for us. Oh my word. That is perfect. That is actually perfect what we've just managed. Wow. Right, pull each other along now. The only issue now is that Pacher is going to be giving um, Norris DRS. But Norris, I think, is going to come in this lap. So I'm expecting Alonso and Bottas probably to pit this lap, if not next lap. We're trying to overcut them with Puchere. Oh. Save fuel and follow that. Don't fight your teammate. He's quicker. Right, now neutral, standard. Kevin, follow your teammate. I don't think Norris is going to get Kevin here, but we'll find out. The DRS is strong, Kevin. Deploy. Yeah, they all pitted this lap. I thought that's what was going to happen. Now the question is, are we going to come out ahead? Oh, well, Norris is pitted. Huge. The issue is, Kevin is so far behind Pacher now. All right, chat. Is Pacher going to come out ahead of Alonso and Bottas? Yes. Ah, uh, Bottas. No. Yes, Alonso. No. Wow. Okay. Well, we got the, we got Bottas in the pit stops. Which is still pretty big, but that DRS train is basically just resumed, but in a different order. We have shuffled the pack essentially. It feels like with the uh, <laughs> with the uh, cars there. What has happened there is it's the same train as before, but everyone is pitted. The shares look really good this race. That his overtakes early on were big. Kind of would like him to catch Alonso for DRS here before this turn. He's going to have slightly warmer hearts than Alonso for this chicane because of the... Um, because he's had an extra lap on them. Alonso's still warming his up. Risk is now the energy. That is the big concern. We're in a good spot, though. Considering what, where did we start? Try to remember where we started now. Seventh and ninth is decent. We were not here to begin with. Twelfth and fourteenth was actually okay. Ocon's still got a pit. Ocon's going to pit this lap, I imagine, for hards. I don't think he's clear either. He might come out behind Gasly, I think. The chair's thinking about making a move on Alonso. This is going to... The only My only concern right now is we do not have battery. How 
battery is not great. Especially if Magnus' battery starts failing more because he's got some issues. But I think this is us to the end of the race. People who hate one-stoppers in real life, I'm sorry. This is your idea of hell. Teo, you're not going to make it there, are you? He's, th he's thinking about it. He's thinking about a move. Fernando Alonso making a train. They said he's for way weaker than in real life. Uh, uh, I've done, like I say with them, Jimmy, you can get further than pretty. Like, they are... In this race, you've got to remember, Hamilton spun out. And Russell does just seem to underperform Hamilton in game. It's probably also they prioritise giving his car, uh, Hamilton's car the upgrades. Like when I've done a save with Mercedes, they are the third best team. At least if properly managed. Right, it's Pichet just Pichet's just got Alonso. What are you doing, Teo? Okay, mate. Good job. So you can push a bit more. Yeah, I feel like when I did my Mercedes save game, uh, they weren't owned pad. Okay, Ocon's pitting. We could be running in P5 and P8 here. Charge on. Copy. I kind of want to just go on to Harvest for Pesherby or lose spec paces, but I think we need to. He might lose a spot or two here. Coming ahead of Ocon. Ocon's coming out. Oh, Ocon's just got it on the outside. That's actually not bad for us. That is going to give Pusher someone to get DRS from. Max has been charging his battery this whole time and he's staying in range. So I'm feeling I'm feeling okay about this suddenly. Charge on, charge on. This has definitely been a race where I feel like I'm having to micro a lot more. Could be a long race, folks. For those of you who like the micro every lap, you're in for a treat, I think. Our battery is in a way better spot on both cars now. We've not given up too much away of position. In the last 36 hours, how many have been streamed? Uh, 18? <laughs> Actually, it's not that many. It's like 15. Oh, okay. Pacheco's just done knock on with DRS whilst on save. Interesting. Good job so far. Pacheco can now we be the lift train. Off. Lift off. Magnuson's batch is in a really good spot. I don't know if you can tell, chat. I really, really like this game. <laughs> I'm, I like it's just so fun. Charge off. I think Copy. when we're running neutral, we are pretty okay um, with the battery and holding people back. Uh, well, this is first season. Good evil. We could be at risk here. I feel like every lap I should just put Pusher on attack for push, this push. section. Just for this chicane. Because I think... Chat, yeah, is that rain? The time of day changes with popping. There's not, like, transitions on the weather. And it can be a bit jarring. But I always see it and I'm like, is that rain coming? I think Pusher, the Pusher project, is very much underway, chat. They're trying to do him on the outside. He's held it. Massive. Massive, massive, massive. I think that straight is going to... We're going to get fucked by a knock, because this is just a train now, where whoever is at the front doesn't have DRS is going to be in trouble. Our main aim has to be to have... To get Pusher at least sixth. Basically, we don't want to be at the front of the train. We want to be second from the front of the train with ERS at the end. I 
How long does a typical season take? I've not finished a season, but the average race, I'd say, takes an hour and a half if you don't do practice. There's 23 tracks on the calendar, so what is that? That is about 33 hours, probably. Results since Imola. Oh, you're testing me here. Give me a sec. Mod push, mod push. I think we're good. He says, I'm probably going to get done here for saying that. Chat, what have the results been? Chat, you can help me with the results since Imola, because I'm, 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 I'm juggling. Nice. Save fuel. This is a lovely train. Mick won all the races, true. Yeah, we got oh, fifth last race. Off. Okay, Ocon got Pusher, sure. that's fine. More charge. What's tire wear looking like? Ocon is managing his tires way better than we are. Obviously, Magnus and Pitt soon, and so his wear is on par with Gasly. It's because we've had to have Pusher pushing more on his tyres at the front, I feel like. But in terms of where we are for the strategy, we're fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Ocon ran two laps longer. That's why he has that extra life. That could be big, actually, come the end. Did Mick get hurt? And uh, if by hurt you mean I released him because he was crap after four races, yes. He's actually just not very good in game. Now, whether or not you think that's realistic or not, I guess is up for debate. But he's five years older than Pusher. Pusher's got only three ratings lower. And Pusher has better growth potential. We actually don't want to overtake here. And lift off. I mean, XP. XP chats. Driver experience. Good job. Battery's charged now. Pass with an overtake. Pusher loves a race, doesn't he? I don't really want to use the ERS to break the DRS because I don't think we can do it. And my concern is, I don't think we're... We are, well, here's the issue. We are not quicker than the Alpine. Outright, we are not quicker than the Alpine. We're just not. So I'm better off just hanging with them like we are right now. All I'm going to do is end up burning up all my ERS. They catch me using theirs and the DRS. And then I'm just sat without any charge getting overtaken by everyone. Our straight line speed is it seems like it's pretty comparable to them. It's, it's going to be a lot of back and forth, I think, for the rest of this race. Archon's on slightly fresher tyres too. So ERS is the energy recovery system. It's the battery icon. So every lap you can charge um, up to two um, MJ of ERS and you can use up to two of it. Different modes have different effects. So if you're on harvest, you are going to have a net gain of charge. If you're on neutral, you're going to end up uh, burning as much as you use. And then with the other modes, your driver will use it accordingly. But the net gain is you will lose half the entire battery charge every lap. So right now, our, both our drivers have a lot of charge. They're sat in neutral, so they're not, we're not gaining, but we're not losing. But that's fine, because we're in the high 90s when it's charged. And, yeah, we're just trying to make these last. Can I use a lift off a bit? Why did I go with Pachier? It just, uh, he was the one we had scouted. Oh, and also, he's 18. I, I'm not sure. Is uh, Duhan older? The more you play for this would be, can you imagine? Friendships would be ended, chat. Do I want to try and make some moves with Magnussen? I could probably start microing in Magnussen more. We might lose spots with Pachier, but as long as he can stay with Ocon and Alonso, it's fine. Thirty-five percent chance of rain in five minutes. It is cloudy. It does make me nervous. We're going to deploy in the back straight. 
Back straight seems to be the place where the Alpine is faster than us. So like every lap we should go attack with Pachere for the last section. Right, K Mag, let's have a go. Let's see what you Come can on, do, K Mag. Copy that. Sorry, I didn't have the intervals on chat, I was on gap to leader. Oh, you might get done in the second section. Yeah, it has done. That's fine. That's not bad. There's so much micro in there. I feel like to do this race if we want to get a good result. Well, the best result. It is lovely and sunny in Canada. He's just done him again. Fair enough. But yeah, like that's in... I mean, we're in a push mode, right? But even so, the fact he's able to overtake there bodes well for a late attack. Pass with an overtake there. I've probably not got close enough here to make it work. But yeah, going to get burnt here again by Ocon. They're just going to keep swapping, I think. Ocon has not managed it. Maybe we do have the pace to hold them back. Was it yellow in sector one? Oh, it was Magnuson. Wait, Magnuson locked up. Chat! Oh, big lock up there. Let's okay, take Mag a locked up. Look. All eyes what happened? Did he go down Magnuson. the pit lane? Oh, up, and he had to wait. Much worse. Chat! Get Mick back. Mick would never. And that was a oh, do you look, and it look like I'm sat really with them, chat? Their overall chances. Right, back ahead in the game, head in the game. Good news, he's still behind in range of Ruslan, and that is part of the train. If he catches the, the train before it's too late, he's fine. Copy that. Am I Mick in disguise? Apparently. Well, I'm not. <laughs> Magnuson might be. That's okay. As long as we don't crash. As long as we don't have Pacher make a mistake, we're fine. Sad. I'm fine, chat. I'm fine. Alpine just advanced. Hey, Mag, get to the train, mate. Get to the train. Get within a second here. He's actually managed it. He braked so late there. There was a big concertina. There is still there is still a race to salvage with K Mag chat. Good news, although he's out of range there. Okay, Kev, so we can start to close the gap. Is Chair not gonna have a fantastic race? K Mag had to use a lot of his fuel to get in touching distance, but I think we're good now. Because Pacheco's at the top of the... Because Pacheco's at the front of the train again. Kevin Magnussen should be able to just keep up to pace, I feel like, now. Pacheco's had a mad race chat. Can we discuss? His rating is really, really low. Well, I say really, really low in game. It's lower than Mix. But with his morale high... And a bit of management, he's doing a really good job of holding up all of these guys in this car. <laughs> the French Civil War between Pacheco and Ocon. It's true. French broadcasters in shambles. On. Got it. Wait. Did K Mag just lose a K Mag just lost a place, chat. I'm fine. I didn't realize Hamilton was in range behind. My bad. Come on, Kev. Copy. I can take a few more gambles with Kevin Magnuson now after he locked up and gave up all those Copy spots. That. Yeah, it's not good for us with uh, Magnus. And that lockup, I mean, it's not something I can control. It's just an error by him. Isn't Canada the one with two... Uh, uh, one of the only ones with one detection for two DRS? Yeah, do they use the... Is it that the DRS applies to the start-finish straight and the back straight? Yeah, I think it is that. 
I mean, if we can hang in here, there's still a chance of something. Oh, look. Ocon has passed Pacher again. We've not seen this before, have we? This is brand new information. That Pacher and Ocon can swap places a lot. Thing is, these two swapping places is just fucking it up for everyone else behind. Which is kind of funny. margin try to increase the pace a little bit have a go I want to see if you've got the pace oh he actually has got the pace okay if we need to go deploy we're fine wow that works has with an overtake has go is going nowhere. I think about uh, sorry, Manus is going nowhere. I think about stuff mediums or softs. I think if I was going to do that, I'd wait for a safety car and hope for thirty laps. But Cher is on a mad one. He's actually Alonso and Ocon are squabbling. But Cher, you might be able to get away here. It might be tough, but I'm going to gamble on his battery here for a lap or half a lap. I'm not sure. Pitt Magnuson's the play. Although there is definitely a gap to put him into. Do I think I can get past two mercs as things stand? Probably not. I'll tell you what I'll do. We'll stick a stint in of soft. Or would I want to go medium so I can do it sooner? Because that gap behind might not exist. I think, well, I'm going to put that in as a placeholder. I might not go with that strategy of a soft, but it's just something to, I want it so it jogs my memory that that is something we could consider down the line. But Joe's broken the train chat. What push? What push? How far is Alonso behind? Ah, he's closed him immediately. I don't think we can break this train. I don't think we could break this train, unfortunately. I thought we could for a second there, but as soon as... I guess Alonso just put deployed his ERS. We need to lift off. Lift off. This is a long train, isn't it? <laughs> it's just going to go on forever, chat. This is a mad. This has been going on for so long. Is that, has, has Norris been losing time to us? Yeah, Alonso is running slower than this train. Pacher's putting in some quick laps. Pacher is actually catching on Perez. At least last lap, where we told him to push hard. All right, K Mike, have a go here. You're very close behind. Come on, Kev, you can do this. Let's see what he can do. I'd quite like him to get between the mercs and, the, and then be on conserve. Or harvest, rather. I don't necessarily think Pitt and Kev is a terrible idea at this moment in time. Just because of the nature of this train. It's going to be so difficult for him to, him, for him to clear it. I think our best bet now, to be honest, is actually to get him to push on these hards as hard as he can and be harvesting and just get a battery built up on, let's close the gap to the for when head. we pit for softs. Yeah, I don't, I, the issue we've got is the train is being dictated by one of our own cars. And both cars have got an identical setup, so I think it's hard to imagine Magnuson being able to catch... Or make it two spots, especially on Mercedes who are in the train. Did it say the pit time? I know you can see it outside of games. Did it say? I mean, we only lose one spot if we pit now. Obviously, we're not going to pit now. Okay, it's estimated pit line... It's only 17 seconds. I say only. That brings us out directly behind Norris. 
as things stand, but because Norris is going a bit slower, there might be the option to pit in a few laps for those softs, and he still comes out hunting down the same train. Right now, I'm trying to get him to save his battery, though. We have slow crew, though. We probably need 18 seconds minimum on Norris to make that work. Although I'd back us to clear Norris, to be honest. The McLaren is not a quick car in game. I don't... That is true. I don't have fresh softs, but I believe in the strategy. In fact, we've got some that are 94%. 94% is fine. I believe in the strategy. The graph view accounts for the best softs that you have. As you can see here, it says next compound 94. So it knows which softs it's going to put you onto. And that graph accounts for that. So why it doesn't start quite up at the very top. My word, it is Ocon. Ocon passing Pusher. Oh, was it, it was Alonso. I take it back. I take, I'd like to apologise to Fernando Alonso because I've got sarcastic there and actually it's someone different. Can you get him? Not quite. Charge off. Go for that. Get him there though. Can get him, can get him in the second DRS zone. Happy days. Yeah, Pichet is getting a lot of XP chat for all these overtakes. It's true. Pass with an overtake there. We've basically got an issue here where the Alpine cannot get past us and break. <laughs> DRS on push air. And I have got to watch the temps here. And as a result of that, no one is able to get past the Alpines. Hey, Ben. Thank you for the 26 months. Thank you for shooting this game. The pleasure's all mine, Ben. When are you going to be playing the game, Ben? Have you got any interest to play or stream it? I can see this being a game that you might play whilst just vibing. This is definitely a game that I would think I would play in my spare time, just like vibing away with like a podcast on in the background or a stream. Vichy Verminen. Is, is your name is your name Finnish Verminen? I mean, be like Verminen. I don't know. It sounds Finnish. It's the nen nen at the end. Thank you for the sub though with the tier one. How soon do we pit? Two laps. I think Pache can hold fifth. I don't want to jinx it. Based on what we've seen through this long... This is a long race where I feel like I have to pay attention rather than just fast-forward big sections. Hold push, hold push. That gap to Norris is not increasing. Let's open up a window. Imagine if rain came. That'd be fun. Is Alonso going to try and move here? It's actually really an advantage for Alonso to be the one challenging us. Because his tyres are worse off than Ocon. It's not by a massive amount, but makes a difference. Can't move seats, can't create a team, all those little issues you don't like. Oh, that's fair. I want to get on these softs as a priority, I feel like. Clean air, the deck should be okay on them. Maybe we go an extra lap or two longer. Come on, Kev, let's pressure him. Got it. Let's, let's harvest behind. I actually don't mind. if I kind of want us to stay behind Alonso tactically, but my risk is if I do anything that, to do that, uh, we might have just played ourselves because that's the detection zone and we're ahead here, but side by side. 
push hard now. That's really bad. That's really, really bad. Side by side and Alonso gets the DRS, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait. No, we got the DRS. I'll take it all back. This is great. Is that a new race position? I'd like, to, I'd like to formally apologize. I push now. Make some more push now. Um, let's get in Harvest with K-Mag. We're going to pit with K-Mag, I think. There's no harm in it. I don't see a way in which we get past both Mercedes. Can we use a lift off of it? What race? One of the things I've noticed is that when you have, like, the replays of crashes, they use that as a chance to reset cars onto the track. John, please. Which is, like, it's not the end of the world. But that is, like, a little weird thing I noticed sometimes. Overtake is available if you need it. That makes Kill the game feel good. You might notice at the end of highlights, like cars will stop still on the like at the end of highlights, no matter what. Like if they go deep, and then I think they just get reset rather than actually having to recover. Oh, Pachette is ahead of the DRS train, but I feel like I feel like it's probably because they're just saving their batteries more than anything else. I want to say Magnuson's close this lap. I think we go onto the sauce with K Mag. Charge off. Cover that. Can we break the DRS? Maybe. Thing is, is there even much of a gain to breaking it? Or to push, or push. It's almost. It, sometimes it's a bit of an advantage to be running in the traffic. I'm going to leave him on this and see how he does gap-wise. I expect Alonso to just close it as soon as he starts using stuff. But we'll see. And lift off. I really could do with Ocon trying to make some stupid lunge on Alonso and cause them to have a fight. Can you, can you two have a squabble? You know, this chicane here would be a good spot for you to have a... Yeah, 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 do it! Do it! Fight! Fight! Go right! Go right! Do it for me! Go on, have a go on him. The fact I'm now watching the Alpines hoping that they take each other out is really an indicator of where we're at in this race. Alright, Pachero and aggressive for this upcoming chicane. Big push now. K-Mag's in a good spot battery-wise. I'm going to pit in this lap, I think. Do I, I think I want to go a lap longer. Yeah, one more lap. Gives him a bit more room to push on the softs. Otherwise, we could push the softs and burn them up. Save fuel and follow that. Right, Kevin. This is the lap, mate. This is the lap. How long has this train been going on for? Box, 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 it was a train box, box. before the stops. Like, the actual pits... Obviously, Magnuson locked up, which kind of balls it up for him. But the actual pit stops that we did, I think, worked pretty well. Our battery's going to be fully charged as well to go for a bit of a deploying spree if we need to, to catch the train. Oh, they are still fighting. the weather forecast saying nothing predicted 20 laps left Chess still keeping out of the range but Alonso and Ocon have swapped now and Ocon's got those fresher tyres alright Pachet you know what to do on this chicane more push more push get as much ground as you can here Kev because you've got DRS Very minor thing. I wish as Kev's in the um, pit here, I could still change his stuff. How's the stop going to be? Please be quick. 3.4 and I'm happy. 3.3, I'm very happy. Our pit crew is really bad. We've already got them focused on developing... Well, not developing, but working on their... Um, pit times. Right, chat, this is going to be interesting now. We need to lift off. Get, lift some, off. get some temps into these. Ahead of Norris. Oh, Norris better not overtake us. He shouldn't be able to overtake us, should he? 
We're gonna go chasing. Have to keep an eye on his laps. Is Pacher still out of range? He is. Okay. This is okay. Pacher's in a good spot. The fact that he's been able to... Bear in mind that obviously the Alpines are DRSing one another. The fact that he's been able to maintain this is really, really Thank good. You. Pushing. Copy. Next lap's the one where we really push with K Mag. Might be able to get fastest lap. Although. I mean, is everyone else just going to go to the end on hards? It kind of looks like it. If Alonso and Ocon just want to keep fighting, that is fine by me. The chair can benefit. Oh, I should probably just stand balance, mind you. Ocon's getting close this lap. Although, I think they just had a little moment together again. Every lap chat. I'm in a routine now where Pucher, every lap at the end, we go put him onto the aggressive tyres just to get him through the chicane faster. Yeah, they are not... He's dropping Ocon very slightly there. Are we catching the train? Let's find out. Slightly. Not not much, but the tire wear could still be a factor for everyone else. Pacher's still 1.4 ahead. I think Pacher's thing is probably I think we've got better setup comfort like comfort comfort with the setup. Did I just see someone pitting? Oh Latifi. Ignore. I think Pacher's morale's higher. And also, he's got a better race engineer than what Mick had. We swapped out the race engineer as well. Okay, Mike is catching them slightly. Ah, uh, Alonso in DRS. Not good. I think he's used battery though to get in that range. Just because of how much he's dropped off on by. Yeah, I've seen people doing um I've seen people doing William Save Games chat and it does just look sad. Imagine if Pacher locks up here. After all this microwave. K Mag's catch him, right? Oh, push. how is Norris? Excuse me, Lando. Excuse me, mate. You're an old hard. What are you, what are you doing, son? Are the softs just not a good tyre? Kev, if you've got some margin, try to increase the pace a little bit. Copy. Okay, we dropped Norris. Although he's probably got DRS. Mm, if he has, he's not gaining on us with the deploy. Just had the craziest Canadian Grand Prix. Nine drivers retired, had a red flag and about three safety cars. That never happens in my save game. <laughs> Chair's going to have to be a bit careful with his fuel here, chat. That makes it a bit easier for him to look after his fuel if he gets overtaken. Tires are overheating. Not good. Alpine just advanced. Shot shot, shot shot. How's Pacher's tires? They're fine. It's not really in our interest to overtake here. I don't want to get overtaken by Ocon behind. I 
I think the P5 is possible because I have got this toned down right now. And if we have battery at the end, I think even if we get past, as long as we can be alongside the Alpines, we're going to be fine. Switch our truck. Although, I'm not sure why Magnuson's struggling so much with the softs. That's a good overtake from Alpine. It's weird. Typical. Shares in a good spot fuel wise. Push. Keep this approach. Good job so far. Shares in a good spot, chat. Really, really good spot. Pass with an overtake. Just got Alonso going into that hairpin. Yeah, I think mean, that lockup for K-Man, I don't know if that's like impacting him. I wonder if there's like hidden bits under yeah, the radar of the game, it. you know, in terms of, I don't know, bits of, str well, like, okay, I don't know what, what how morale and stuff works within the game, I suppose, like what could be affecting the performance. I kind of like that I don't know what that stuff, because I feel like with Football Manager, I just know a lot of it now. 14 laps, 14 laps left, folks. I think we're okay. K Mag's not gonna score anything, but all the all the eggs are in the Pacher basket. Yeah, I definitely agree, Aski. There's definitely a lack of safety cars and DNFs. I realise if you came into the stream for the first time and saw a house running in fifth and one in twelfth with like the Mercedes so far down, you'd probably be thinking I'm a few seasons in. Chair's tire wear is good, by the way. I was a bit worried it might, it might not be push, great because of how we've been microing it in the last sector. I think there is a consistency attribute, but I don't know how it works. I know so little about F1, but the stream's been interested to watch. Hey, I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, I feel like this is a game that's quite watchable. It's nice in that regard. Like, when you have a game that looks this nice and just the audio design, I don't know how good it is in straight, like, for you guys watching the stream, but the actual audio in game is really, really good. Like, the audio system, like, the sounds of the engines, the sounds of the cars, just all the radios, like, all the, the ambience, I suppose. It's not really ambience in the typical sense, though. No, it sounds dumb, but what's the difference between a good engineer and a bad one? I actually don't know within the context of the game. The rating. Kev is still not able to margin, catch up with the train. Chat, it's a sad situation. The, the decision with Kev has not worked. Sadly. We might as well leave him pushing a little bit. There's no, no real harm in it otherwise. I wouldn't mind some last minute rain. Some rain at the end would be drama, wouldn't it? I can't push the uh, I can push them a little bit more, although I've all just put them up. I can't push the Manxton tires too much more. It'll be interesting to see. When we get the drop off of um When we get the drop off of the hards towards the end, that's when Maxon might be able to make up some spots. Uh, K Max at ERS is bro broken. That is actually a turn to remember. I say broken. We don't actually know the extent of it. But his ERS is not working as it should be, which probably is impacting his ability. Especially on a track like this, where you've got essentially half the track is just one long straight. Poor K Mag. Okay, good job, Kev. That's one. Uh, Pacha needs to be good here because they're right behind him. Hot push, hot push. The fact that we're just stuck squabbling with Norris is just depressing. Uh, balanced. Half a second, we should be okay, right? 
That is scary. The DRS and the ERS are fast. And he gets DRS here as well. Too little, too late. But we'll run behind here for a bit. If we can charge our battery. Like, I feel like he's now used all his battery to get in front of us. I might be wrong. Alpine just advanced. But I feel like Alonso keeps overtaking us and then they use, they've use they used all the battery to do it. Boat race. Okay, Pacher's tyres are okay. Yeah, the softs for the start. The reason I went on the softs, or well, one of the reasons was because of how well it worked for Magnussen at the start of the race. Like, those softs were so good for actual position, but I can only assume the ERS damage that we've got is now more of a factor. So we are just in neutral air. I think if we have enough charge come the end, we get the Alpine. Because we now get DRS here as well. I think we can get fifth here. We, if we use everything correctly for 10 laps. Good job. Is that a new race position for Haas? And follow data. Okay. Okay. There is a risk that we see some lapping going on with nine seconds left. Oh. I don't want to touch anything there. Even the, the fuel fluctuates so much. Norris has just done us again. It's not right, Mikey. Not Michael. I feel like he says Mikey with his accent, but it is not. Can we get last minute rain? Yeah, a bit of Russian Grand Prix from last year. Oh, did Kev have to let the leaders through? Is that what's happened? Is that why he's, he probably did lose time there? They're only a straight away from us. Uh, we got a bit fucked up there on our line. Did you notice that? We got a really bad run out there. That's We're now a second behind. We have to keep we have to keep in the DRS. You can't push. But we got squeezed there. That's bad for Pucher. I don't know what's going on with Magnus. He's having fun. Kev, you're doing a brilliant job here. We deploy sector three. We deploy sector three, I think, on Pucher here. Pass with an overtake. Magnuson's done Norris, of course he has. That 1.2 seconds is gonna be killer. All right, push here. Need to get within a second out of this hairpin. Is the detection zone before the turn or after chat? I actually don't know. I don't want to use the deploy here. We have no DRS to do this. This is all our car. So if Oh, Gasly's just done Ocon. Interesting. I don't know what that means for us. We've not had to fight Gasly before. Okay, we're within a second. <laughs> Every time I go back to Magnussen, it's just him and Norris squabbling. It's 13th. I mean, is it just worth retiring? The thing is, we aren't actually catching this group. A little bit. Where's, Le Where's Leclerc? Leclerc is catching that group. I need to have charge on the battery after the end. We have got DRS here. That's big. Yeah. Bax and uh, Charles have just been battling for ages. I've noticed at the front. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. This is okay. Oh, 
do I want a new harvest? More we'll charge. I don't want to make the move here. I want to be charging the battery. We'll make the. We'll probably get him here with DRS. Bizarrely, because of where the detection zone is. Unless he squeezes us like he did last lap. That's okay. That's really, off. really good. Lift off. That is what I wanted to see that lap. I must have as much battery as possible to really push him at the end. K Mag's race is done, though, isn't it? These two just squabbling, just compromising each other. They're not going to catch the train. Off. I don't really want to overtake him here. I'm not sure that if the mediums would have made a difference with K-Mag. He's got an ERS issue. I mean, that's the main issue. For us, is we've, we've got... Uh, Oh, those little fake out. The little fake out. See you. Wave. 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 I'm facing the wrong way for you guys. I was facing to my left for him. Not many laps. If we get lapped, there's going to be a lap less. I don't know if they're going to catch us. They might do. Uh, I will be watching the Belgian Grand Prix. Yeah, I'll be watching it the weekend. We'll probably chat about it on Saturday. I might, I might end up doing a stream on Saturday chat. This has been a pretty mega race. I've got a second ahead of Alonso the right now. Gain a position. I want to be in a harvest. What am I doing? Shot on, shot on. How marginal are Pacheco's tires? Okay, they're good. Came I can actually push way, way more than I've been letting him. <laughs> Come on, you can do this every you time. Is there a stream tomorrow? Great question. Not 100% sure yet. I need to find time to record episode 2 of the Alpine YouTube series chat. I was going to get that, try and get that up for tomorrow, but obviously I'm here recording this now, so that's going to be a bit of a challenge. Did Alonso get DRS? He did, but he's too worried about Gasly. Um, there should be a stream tomorrow. We'll find out. Okay, good job, Pep. They're going to get a say, I think, with the DRS. I did not mean to hit that button. I wanted to change the camera angle, chat. It's a disaster. It's fine. He's used up his battery. This is this keeps happening. Alonso uses up his battery to get past us, but we've got enough in reserve to just move back on him. Uh, if you click the information tab and then click on anything... It gives you information about all the systems. So if you're if you're trying to figure out what everything means with the Yargon, that might be what you're looking for. Uh, I can't stay on push. Save fuel. Oh yeah, K Mine's pulled away now. I think is I think he's left it too little too late. Five laps to go. <sighs> this is going to be tight. K Mag is a lost cause, chat. We can't get anything done with him, sadly. That's a good overtake from Alpine. It's all about what we can do with Poucher. But there might, there's a risk they get lapped here. I don't think they will get caught by the leaders, but if they do, it could play havoc with my actual strategy here to end the race. Pacher is loving this race in action though with uh, Alonso. Do I want to just get ahead of Alonso here? I feel like I just want to sit behind. If we can get past him with everything unbalanced, I'd be pretty happy. Can I use a lift off of it? My concern is Gasly by another. There's a bit of a gap. That is mad. Pusher is getting speed out of this car. 
We're going to have battery life to dump. We also have DRS here to pull away a bit further, which is massive. So we have four laps to go. Kevin can push to the end. Just push. Gasly just got past my shirt. This is going to be interesting. We've not fought Gasly yet. We have not fought Gasly yet. So I don't know what is going to be capable. What like what's the situation is going to be here in terms of what he's capable of speed-wise. What are Gasly's tyres looking like? 35% weight. Okay, Gasly's been running in traffic way more than us. So his tyre wear is not great. He must have used battery to get past as well. I'd like to think at least. Do you reckon the leaders are going to guess? Maybe. They're still racing. Wow. As much as I want to admire this race for the lead. I've got my own figure. Oh, Max has done him there. Do we reckon they're going to get to us? They might do. They are, there is a, this could be havoc. Gasly was thinking about it there. There's two laps left for the leaders. This lap might la end a, a, suddenly a lap shorter for half the train. Three laps away. If they catch the train last lap, chat, there could be havoc and here. There could be tears. It's all about push air. We've got three laps to do. We've got battery charge. Got a bit of fuel if we need it. I think we're in a pretty good spot. I'm st I can't say with absolute confidence, but I think we will be able to get fifth. Mode push. Go over there. I wonder, Mick Dipple, if you've got about him. That was added to K-Bag. K-Bag was not forgotten about. I want that on record. I want that on record. That is a fast Alpha Tauri. I'm concerned about the second bout of DRS here. Last lap for Verstappen. Verstappen is going to ruin this, potentially. Nice, Teo. There is so much microing going on, chat. And uh, it's it's high stress. This train has gone on for so long. We've been at the head of it for so long. We've occasionally had to drop back to charge the battery. How close is Verstappen? He's not going to get us. We're going to have a full lap still to run here. Push hard now. Good news, we've got battery to use it down both straights. Oh my word. Oh my word. We've got a gap. Is he closing? I'm sorry, K Mag. And not top of my priority list. I've got to save some fuel for the end. I find if you, you play on... I, I don't want to go and defend because we could end up depleting it all, trying to defend a spot and then not have it back. Whereas at least if I'm manually deploying it at the end... We need lift off turn one. Um, lift off turn one. And for certain sectors... If I'm manually doing it, um, what push, what push. then I have some left over if I then need to make the overtake back. Because what often happens is the drivers use all the ERS for the lap defending, and then if they lose it right at the end or you know midway, like in the last sector, they do, don't have enough to get it back. Out. This is stress. He might still get us. Although I think we did squeeze him out there at the end. So cute. There's not much more I can do here. I'm just gonna hope that what we've got left is enough. I think it is. Did he even get DRS? He did get DRS, but he's a second 
0.2 behind. Charles won the race, race, by the way. Madness. We had a bit more the battery that we could have used before. Use it down the line. What a drive. What a drive, Teo Pacher. Mick, where are the Mick fans now? Where are the, where are the Mick fans now? Where, where are they? Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, Mick fans. That is massive. That is, that is a biblical run. Unbelievable. That defending there. A brilliant performance from the Haas driver. I had to... That was a long race to play. Some people have asked, like, how long does a race take? If you have to manage a race a lot... <laughs> oh, that was, that was stress. The pit win, the pits were where we got that, actually. We, did we undercut... Was it under... We overcut with K-Mag and then undercut with Pacher. And I think we got in that sweet spot. If Mick hadn't locked... I'll tell you what, if um, Magnus and Alan locked up, that was an easy double pointer, wasn't it? If he hadn't locked up, nine places gained. They were on track... Well, actually, were some of them in the pits? Is there a way I can see, like, the position histories date of you, maybe? Like lap history, so Pacher. So before the stops, chat, he was in tenth. Is there a way you can see? Let, has anyone found that chat? Is there a way that I can have like a graph of league positions? I assume there's probably not. So where did we pit here? Did we not pit the lap before Alonso and Bottas? Or was that with K-Mag? Standings, then data. Where, where, where is that? I don't want to leave the race because I think it then goes. Oh, what if we do my drivers? Oh, that is literally just pitting. I mean, the sponsors love me. They've forgiven me, chat. Post-race reports. A segment. Is it any of these bits? Oh, you can see your average times on each tyre. I did not realise that was a thing. Interesting. It's weird, right? Playing this game mode. Haven't looked through any of this stuff. Where was Kevin before he locked up? That was there, wasn't it? He locked up and lost three places. Sauce was slower than the mediums there. I wonder how much of that was Kevin Magnussen dragging that down in that second sector. That was insane. 2,100 points. What? I mean, I know that's a lot. I don't know how much I've played this game. But I know that that's a big amount. What did he do? 18 successful overtakes. 34 successful defends. I put out a chat. I can't do another race. It's 2.40 in the morning. He actually drove amazingly. I think I helped with the defending. Sometimes changing his bits. But... Poor k okay, going straight on. What does that leave us in the team standings? I didn't even check it before. Oh, we have the new parts. We have the new parts. Oh, we have a fat, we have some fat upgrades coming. We couldn't get Alpine or Alpha, could we? We couldn't get the Alpine or Alphas over the rest of the season. I'm probably getting a bit carried away. I mean, top six is the the aim finish. The annoying thing is Alpha Tauri got good points with Gasly. Five days to get parts sorted. When's the next race? 11 days. <laughs> I could rush the development to get them both done. You can also pay more to just get them done immediately. I'm not sure that's worth it. What if I did... <sighs> If I rush one, 
and then manufacture, and then a rear wing and rush another. Oh, the rear wings are done quicker. Oh, they're done separately. Wait, does that mean I can get... That means I can get both done, right? Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Oh, I can't now. Can I not cancel the rear wing? I guess if I go continue forward here. So the designs are done. And the underfloor's done. Now can I get the other underfloor done? Let's have a look. Uh, thing is, if I get any damage, I'm going to not have, have them for the race. I'm going to make three more. I didn't realise I could just stack them like that. So we'll make backups if we get issues. <sighs> Upgraded weather centre. Oh yeah, we need to change the ERS conditions. Wait, is that, are those other bits not done? Monthly development report. Oh, are you getting slower? It feels like it. Wait, so what parts are now done, chat? Okay, we have the new underfloor. Do we have the new rear wing? We do. Where does that leave us on the grid? Oh, chat. 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 That double upgrade that we've just brought is big on the high speed tracks. Fifth fastest car. Wait, is that of all? Oh, that's just Has Car 1. How about Car 2? We, we should be challenging top five more often. Silverstone's next. I'd time these upgrades so that we had all these high-speed upgrades coming in for this race. Oh, chat. No, I can't. I can't, chat. Chat, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't, chat. It's too late. The French Grand Prix. I'll tell you what. The British Grand Prix, the Austrian... Uh, let's say the Austrian, actually. But, but certainly the French... And British Grand Prix should be pretty good for the car. Tell you what, chat. Before I go off for the night, because I am going off for the night, I'm really sorry. We're going to swap out the ERS. Um, so I don't forget about that. Also, uh, do, do we maybe go new engines? Silverstone, do we go all out? Probably shouldn't. Gearbox. I mean, we'll stick with the ones we've got. Chat, you can spam one more race all you want. If you spam one more race, then you won't you won't get um <laughs> you won't get an Alpine episode tomorrow. You won't get an Alpine episode tomorrow, or potentially on Sunday if I can't get it all edited today. Chat, we have to save. And and we need to contain ourselves. Chat, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've got to get an Alpine video sorted. It's been, it's been very, very fun. And I appreciate the fact there's 940 of you watching it free in the morning. But it is free in the morning. I'm sorry. Your son can cry all he wants. I don't care if your son's crying. Tell him to get a grip. <laughs> oh, right, chat. Should we raid over to someone? I've got to say, it's mad how many of you are here right now. I didn't even realise. Let's raid over to someone else playing the game. Where shall we go? Where shall we? There's a guy. Okay, chat. There's someone. X Aussie Racing Engine. I'm, I've got. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I'm gonna assume because this so this person is um an Australian. It's gonna be the start of their stream. I don't know if that's a bold move or not. Look, chat, I'm sorry. Look, we end, we'll end on a high. Now think about this one. We're ending on a high. We've got big car upgrades for the next race. You know, you've got to, I've got to keep you keen. We've got, we've got some insane car upgrades. We should be really, really good at Silverstone. 
this coming weekend, not as in real world weekend, race weekend when we stream tomorrow is going to be massive. Um, in terms of when I'm going to be live tomorrow, I'm not sure yet. I don't think there'll be an afternoon stream like there was today because I need to do the Alpine video, but we will be definitely be live tomorrow night. So keep an eye out. I'll write on Twitter when we're going live, of course. Just leave a tab of this Twitch page open, then it'll just autoplay when I go live. Genius. Anyway, we're going to leave things there, folks. Thank you so much for hanging out. If it is been, if it is been, if it has been your first time here, do hit the follow button. We're going to stream in a whole lot of F1 Manager. And of course, we will be discussing the Belgian Grand Prix as it goes down over the weekend. I'm beginning to think that uh, we uh, we might do a stream at the weekend as well. Maybe, maybe Saturday, Sunday streams, anyone? Might have to be an option. <laughs> anyway, let's go give him a raid. Um, I'm sorry that if I've let you all down. The time has only got seven seconds left. I have to end the stream. Bye, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. Take it easy. Bye, 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 bye.